All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are you all doing today? Hi, everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. <laughs> Kai Hall says, you've all been fooled by two to identity as the ginger. Hey, ginger man. Welcome from Twitch. I'm glad to see you here today. All right, guys. So today uh, we are going to be doing a little bit more work on the house for Pablo, guys. Uh, this is the unofficial server toast district. I do need to get some stuff together here. The house is kind of like started, but there's a lot left to do to make it kind of livable. Um, and for those of you who maybe haven't been around, Pablo is our little otter friend. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to finish this little house for him while we're here. I do need to get some greenhouse walls and some more stone ceilings. So I'm going to go ahead and start checking stuff. Uh, Cassie has a present. Ah! There's a Carno and a unicorn. There's a lot of stuff happening right now, guys. <laughs> Lots of people around. I would love to pick it up, Cassie. This is... Okay. Too many people. I know, right? Uh, Oh, thank you for the fertilized raptor egg. Thank you so much. Butte Favo. Thank you so much, man. <gasps> Ooh. An RG egg. Thank you! I love when we get baby creatures at the start of the stream, guys. Let's go hatch these up and then uh, take a quick look. <laughs> uh, everyone's so funny here. Make it a little bit easier on us all. Uh, there we go. Oh, the flares. They're so bad. So useful, but so bad. Um, Braylee, thank you so much. Uh, Martix, you can find a Ketz pretty much anywhere on the island. They spawn randomly all over the map. Um, they can be really hard to find, though. There's usually only one to three of them on a map at a time, so you do have to kind of fly back and forth over the whole island looking for them. I suggest using a Pteranodon to do that. Um, it's really quite good for that. All right, let's go ahead and drop these so that they can get all hatched up. Hey, Soul Fury. Where'd the raptor egg go? Oh, there it is. Hey! Oh my gosh, the teleporting eggs. I love it. <laughs> um, little, be set, or little baby wife says, Ziggy, join SAS and kill him. What? I'm confused. Uh, Foo says, I tamed a Quetzal today. Awesome, man. Grats. Uh, Sabertix Gaming says, Hi, Art Queen. How's it going? Hannah. An arc for Switch is not a player marker on your map. You can find an option to turn it on in settings. It's supposed to be like that. Hannah, that's entirely possible that there's not an option for that. Um, so I know that the uh, the Switch version of Arc is not particularly well developed. In my opinion, it's probably the least developed of the Arc versions. So there really may not be an option for that. Um, I would try Googling it. If there's not an answer in forums, then it doesn't exist. Uh, Cece, how's it going? I'm doing really good right now. Um, having a really good day, honestly. Got myself a new shirt today, actually. I like it. Uh, Giovanni says, where can you find the unicorn? Giovanni, the unicorn can spawn literally anywhere on the map that is on land. It's typically found on the island itself. Um, obviously it doesn't spawn in the ocean. Um, but there's only one on the map at a time, so keep an eye out. They're very, very rare. <sighs> Uh, Kaloon Kaloon Club says, hi, how's it going? Pigs are amazing, welcome. Dallas says, how do you put a T-Rex skeleton on T-Rex on mobile? Uh, there isn't a Rex skeleton, Dallas. Uh, you can't put it on those. Uh, there is a, what is it, a Rex bone helmet skin, uh, but that's only for skinning helmets and things like that that you can put on survivors and creatures that can wear helmets. It's not for actually skinning animals. Uh, Pride the Beast, how's it going? Sinister, can you join? The server is a free access server, guys. You can definitely join. AJ Green, yes, I've been keeping very safe. I do wash my hands a lot. <laughs> Invisible Ghost, how's it going? Um, Red, how's it going? How are you doing, man? How's your day? Gotcha Loser says, hi, I love you. Thank you so much, Gotcha. <laughs> Matthew says, Bouncing Baby RG. Heck yes, I'm excited. I have no idea what this RG is, but I'm excited to find out. Same with the raptor. I actually have not had a raptor on here yet. So I'm like super excited. I do need to go and 
Krako, drop that egg, please. You picked it up. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I do need to go ahead and actually get some meat for these guys. That's going to be a thing. Uh, toast. Oh, you're 266. How's it going, 266? Uh, or Toast. Thank you so much for coming by. Hannah, yeah, that's the one good thing about quarantine, I think, is that people can actually come and hang out on the streams, which is nice. Uh, otherwise, it kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Um... Red says, it's been a day, man. Pretty decent. Nice. That's awesome, man. I hope it was good. Um, Cleocatcher says, can you get an otter mutation? If so, do you have one? Cleocatcher, you can get otter mutations? I don't have one yet. <gasps> oh, it's blue. It's blue. How much time do you have? 16 minutes. I think we're okay on that one. Oh, that's a cool looking RG. Look at that, guys. Bright blue. This is my new baby. I have decided. Oh, it's an eerie blue RG baby. Oh, it's so good looking. Um, <laughs> Victor says, where do you find the Tapajara? Uh, Victor, so Tapajaras are usually found anywhere in the jungle. Um, yeah, they kind of fly up high near the ceiling of the map as well when they get scared, so that's a good place to find them. Otherwise, if you... Uh, if you kind of wander around in um, the jungles, sometimes you'll see them on the ground. That's a really good time to go up and bolo them and tame them on the ground. You're Donna. How's it going? Uh, Cookie, I'm not going to kill the RG. This is I can't stay. Honestly, literally about to go hang out with a friend at the place. Have a good stream, though. Will do, man. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope you have a good time with your friend. Apex says that's a no-no. <laughs> Master Nads, yes, I do watch anime. Um, I actually love animes in general, and so I have a few that I'm really quite fond of. I need to get food for this guy, and I definitely need to make sure I give him the stuff. Oh, they have a yellow Anki now, too. Oh, my gosh. Cassie, like, you and Zex spoil me with these creatures. I love them so much. Um, Reaper, my day's been really good so far. Cookie, why you gotta be like that? Take the RG and kill it. Rude. Oh, gosh, it's so bright. Oh, my goodness. The air. It hurts. Okay. Ah! Fireworks everywhere. Why we no dive? There we go. Uh, I need meats. I need meats. Hey, hey. Creatures. I eat you. I need to feed my babies. Tis important. I'm so sorry. You have to. You have to all get eaten. Eh, eh, eh. We can do it. The screen is lagging so bad right now. All right, that's enough for now. It'll get it started. Um, name the bird Azure. I do like that. Adrian says, what's the server called? Uh, Adrian's server's called Toast District. My Game Boy, thank you so much for the super chat donation. He says, you can help me to tame a titanosaur. How to tame? My Game Boy, yes. Um, I actually have a video on taming a titan. If you want to look that up, that's probably easier. But what to do to tame a titan, you have to... Uh, you have to knock it out by hitting it in the head with a cannon. I find that easiest to do uh, by getting a Quetzal with a platform saddle, putting a cannon on it facing sort of to the front, um, and then getting right in front of the Titanosaur, right up close to its head, and then try to quickly fire a cannon before the Titanosaur moves. That's the easiest way I have found to tame a Titan, and they do take forever. They're quite a pain, so um, good luck with that. Be careful. Uh, I didn't get the meat out of my griffin. Like a genius. Okay, we got this. That's not my griffin. Where's my griffin? Where did I leave it? I left it over here. Um, Nathan, welcome. What did you miss? Not too much yet. Uh, just hatched up a beautiful RG that I'm super stoked about. And we have a baby raptor on the way as well. And then we're going to be finishing up the house for Pablo. I like to start off the stream with any baby hatchings we may have. Because they are so cute. And it's good to get those done early. Oh, gosh, thank you so much for the raw meat. Everyone's always so helpful. Butte, thank you so much, man. I do appreciate it. Uh, any griffin taming tips? Uh, 
Hi, Hugh. Tame two really low-level ones first, a breeding pair, and then breed for uh, mutations. Oh, look at a cute otter. I can barely see it, but it's so cute. The RG is very much in the way. <laughs> but look at how cute the otter is. Buttercups. It's so cute. Look, we're going to have an otter party, guys. I love it. Aw, Buttercups. She's so adorable. Um, <laughs> Let's see. It goes from says, I have a 1464 damage Spino. What's your highest damage Spino? Uh, Ghost Farm, probably not that high. Spino, that's a really good damage on a Spino, not going to lie. Um, Minecraft Junkie says, can you play more Minecraft? Um, actually, Minecraft, that's not a bad idea. I should definitely check that out because it's been a while since we've played Minecraft. I was working on, like, a really cool temple thing there. Um, so maybe that'll be a thing. Bo, you crashed. That's okay, man. Hopefully you can get back in. Oof. Um, Wally, yes, I do remember you, man. Welcome back. No worries if you miss the streams. It happens, man. Life, life gets in the way. Were those mushrooms for me? I can't pick them up. Oh, no, I didn't mean to punch the baby. I'm so sorry. I almost had it. Aha! Okay, you have to, like, get the screen at the right angle to pick stuff up when there's a baby nearby. Um, Hussam, I am doing really good. Luke Reef, I am doing really good. How are you guys doing? Theon says, how the house for Pablo is going? Did I miss something? Uh, so the house for Pablo is doing really, really good, guys. It's uh, it's still a work in progress. We haven't worked on it since last weekend, so that's kind of nice. Um, but it should be pretty good. Doge says, will you do a vid on the new dungeon? Doge, yes. Uh, we will be doing um, a stream on Tuesday morning with the new dungeon, as per usual. <laughs> Can I name the Eerie Blue RG Shifter? Oh, yes. Actually, I love that. I love that a lot. We're going to name it Shifter, guys. Thank you so much to everyone who's thrown out a name suggestion. I liked all of them, but Shifter feels like that's a really good name. I like it. I don't know. It sounds right for the critter. Um, Spillgets, I do not give out my coordinates on PvP servers. Apologies. How many animals have I tamed? Aiden thousands over the course of my art career <laughs> literally thousands omar yes how's it going man yes this is a mutated rg dark matter you can find beavers in a lot of different places i find them a lot at hidden lake um i also find them a lot in smugglers pass uh and down kind of along that corner of the redwoods that's just below smugglers pass that's a good area for it uh, Azim says, tour your base. Uh, Azim, I, again, it's a PvP server. I won't be touring too much. Oh, there's more meat on Sapphire. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Krakow. Um, Rush says, hey, this is my first stream. Welcome, Rush. How's it going, man? Super excited to have you guys here. Can I name the Raptor Reaper? I actually love that. We still have, like, eight minutes before the Raptor hatches, so that's definitely possible. All right, let's uh, open the door so people can escape. There we go. Here, I'll come outside so that people like can chill out here. Here we go. Uh, also, I'm gonna turn on bright night because I can't see anything. I don't know how you guys can. Um, Paul, you found my base in Toast District, but you drowned before you could get on land. Oof, Paul, that's rough, man. To cheese hunter, go right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Cleo says, OMG, I'm so happy you just made my day. Of course, Cleo. I'm glad I was able to answer. How's it going, guys? I love it. I love it. Um, Samardic, do I have name suggestions for a unicorn? Uh, more toast. I love it. I love the notes that say toast. Um, Ooh, Emdal's a pretty good name. What's a good name for a unicorn, guys? I always did like Rainbow Dash, but that's me. 
Uh, Aiden says you should name the Raptor Crafter. <laughs> um, I could, but you know, like I feel like the the Crafter is like a squad thing. You know, you have to have like a series of Raptors for that. Sajad, how's it going? Um, iguana? Yes. I say um a lot. I know. <sighs> Hannah says, I like Avalon for a unicorn. Avalon! Yes, Avalon. Samardic, you should definitely name it uh, Avalon. Look at the wolf names. Also, Toast is from you. Thank you, Omega. Candy Mountain! <laughs> Charlie! Charlie the unicorn! Yes! We should totally name it Charlie. That would be good, too. Ten bucks says, that's a note. Oh, that's actually an Ascendant Galley saddle. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, man. Maybe we'll tame a galley at some point. I, I gotta... Whoop. Okay. Check on Baby Shifter here. Baby Shifter is doing fantastic. And then we've got our Fertilized Raptor egg doing pretty good. We got like five minutes before that's a thing. Oh, my goodness. Too many... Too many peoples. What's happening? Too many people crowding into the base. Uh, okay, we got it. Um, <laughs> it's a galley. I don't even know. Uh, the best way to get metal is a metal run. Yes, that is definitely the best way to get metal. Best place to get metal. I actually, guys, I would suggest going to the Blue Obelisk Mountain for metal. That's my favorite place, and it almost always has spawns, even when the volcano doesn't. And they're cleaner spawns up there, too. Um, how do you get a Griffin's Respect? Uh, Alzebear, there are a couple of ways to get a Griffin's Respect. Number one, uh, you can share a name with the Griffin. So, like, this Griffin here, the last two letters of his name end in N-A. The last two letters of my uh, survivor name end in N-A, as you can see here at the top. Um, and so I'm able to gain respect of any griffin that shares a name family with me beginning at level 40, right? Uh, so a lot of people just tack on M-I-R or N-A or Y-S-S to the end of their name in mobile so that they can tame griffins at level 40. Uh, the other way is just by level. Uh, at level 85, you can start taming the lowest levels. At level 95, you can tame the highest levels. Uh, yeah, the tribes are currently closed, guys. Angelita, I'm sorry you got raided. Dallas, uh, lately I've been watching this anime, uh, Somali and the Forest Spirit. Uh, it's a really cute, cute little anime. Very sweet, very magical. I like it a lot, actually. Um, but I did, it is over now, which saddens me. A lot of the animes I watch only have, like, a few episodes, and then they kind of done. Okay, I'm gonna just, uh, yep. There we go. <laughs> Samardic says, follow the magical Leo Pluridon, Charlie. Exactly. Uh, Leo Pluridons. That's actually one thing we don't tame too often on here, guys. I should definitely do that at some point. Tame one for you. Uh, Cooper, the server is called Toast District. Pure Salty, how's it going? Uh, Sajad, this is an unofficial server. Rex says, you could use the golden crown to gain the respect of a griffin. Yes, Rex, that's true. If you have a golden crown, um, you can definitely start taming them at an earlier level, say like level 65, I think it is. So it does make it go a little bit quicker. Uh, Hussam says, I'm not good at English because I don't, uh, live in any country speaking English. Hussam, that's okay. We're just glad you're here. Hi, guys. Welcome. Uh, Joan, Anas, and Tinny. Welcome, guys. How's it going? Name the raptor rapper. That's not bad either. I kind of like Reaper. Reaper the raptor. Uh, Krishna, it's a sign from India and it's morning here. Krishna, welcome. Uh, it's actually evening here for me, but I hope y'all are staying safe during the quarantine. I hope everyone's having a good time staying inside. Can you try to tame the blood broodmother in some future vid? Um, 
Marduk, so the Broodmother's not tameable, sadly. Uh, it is a boss, so it's not actually tameable. Alright, thank you so much, Krako. Wrong thing. Nope, I can do it. Nope, wrong thing as well. Hold up, I got this. Uh. Um, Cece says, I'll keep saying this throughout the stream, but go like the video. Thank you so much, Cece. Yes, guys, please remember to hit the like button. Giovanni says, can you do a face reveal? Uh, Giovanni, the face reveal is currently scheduled to come out in late April. That is the current plan based on the fact that I actually have to collaborate with other people to make the face reveal video I have in mind. So I absolutely have, like, um, the footage scheduled is uh, for April 11th. So that's when I'm taking the footage. And then it will take me time to actually finish up, make sure it's edited correctly. So uh, current date is probably mid to late April. I would err on the side of late April for that face reveal video. Um, <laughs> let's see. Wally, I'm sorry your griffin died. That's terrible, man. JT says, everyone like the stream? And Iguana, can you knock a Giga out with a cannon? And if so, is it easier? JT, no. The cannon will kill the Giga. Um, and it is much more difficult to hit a Giga with a cannon than with a, a long neck. Um, takes way too long to... <laughs> I love the spinning. Um, the cannon just takes too long to aim and to hit shots. And then on top of that, it doesn't do... Uh, it does too much damage to Torpor to a Giga. Um, do I know how to get more Black Pearls? Yes, so if you want Black Pearls, my best advice is to kill Alpha Mosos and Tusos, and then uh, Trilobites are a good source of Black Pearls as well. They only drop a few. Uh, Europterids are also a good source of Black Pearls if you kill those. Those are spawning on the ocean floor. They're the little, like, lobster scorpion things. I like to call them sea scorpions. Um, Rabadi, yes, if you want to find the shirter, shirter, server, server's the word. Oh, I got twins! They're so cute! No, let me target the other one. Oh, no, I can only claim one. There we go. Um, yeah, if you want to find the server, what you need to do is you need to go to the unofficial servers list. They're pink! Um, go to the unofficial servers list and type in... Uh, toast, T-O-A-S-T, and make sure your region is set to N-A. The server is called Toast District. It should be one of about four servers that pops up. Uh, Lazy Vampire says, shout out to Carol Guineo. There you go, Lazy Vampire. Shout it out to Carol. Um, name the ripe raptor Micro, like Micro Raptor. Oh, I like that. Reaper and Micro. I like it. Which one? Do we, are they both female? I can do this. I can target it. Yes, they're both female. Cool. This is going to be Reaper. Not Reeler. Oh my god. One of these days I'll be able to spell. There we go. Reaper. And then I like that actually a lot. This is going to be Micro. This is the only Micro Raptor I ever want to see in the game. Got it, guys? Don't let the devs at it, please. Perfect. Micro and Reaper. Uh, I also need to probably make sure they don't wander off. Uh, 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 targeting. There. Yes. Perfect. So tricky. They're so cute, though. <laughs> oh, Zach, you have stairs for me from Bo. Thank you, Zach. Where are they at? Oh, so good. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Was not expecting. Oh no. Way down. Uh oh. Uh. Yes. This is. This will work. Hold those. Okay. I got it. Stairs on the poopster. Don't let me forget, guys. Um. AJ says it's funny because when I'm a new player, I found an alpha raptor and tried to tame it. <laughs> nice, AJ, yes. A lot of people try to tame alphas at first and ask me if they're tameable. Um, they're definitely not tameable, guys. Neon says, how many eggs are you going to hatch? Neon, just the two. Um, I just want to make sure that these raptors have food, and then we're going to go and start working on the house while these guys start to grow up. 
Actually, they can already hold quite a bit, so I think we'll be good. And we'll just pop back in and check on them uh, on occasion. But I love getting new creatures. It's always so good. Okay. Um, I'm double checking that they've all stopped. All right. I'm going to run out here. Let's go ahead and start building up this house, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's so much quieter in this little base over here. Smithy, smithy. Um, let's see. Archangel says, hi, Iggy. How's it going, Archangel? Welcome. Aiden says, stairs on poopster. Thank you, Aiden. Drama says, Iguana, please do a Ragnarok episode. Uh, Drama, I actually do plan to do a Ragnarok episode on the Crossplay series, uh, probably in the near future. It might be the next server after the Scorched Earth server. Spill gets, no, the tribe is actually closed. Overlord says, I want to join that server. What is it? It's called uh, Toast District. So shouts is Iguana, yes? What's up? Uh, Diki says, San Pedro. What? Very confused. Azubar says, it says your server is full. Yes, guys, I am streaming at the moment, so it may very well be full. Uh, I do apologize, but that is how it goes sometimes. I need to get some crystal. Oh, gosh, I still have a Giga Egg in here. I can't let that die. Oh, no, I'm going to have to put that into a fridge. Uh, you tried a bunch of times and it still says full. Sinister. Uh, yeah, it does take a while, uh, to get into sometimes. Um, okay, I got that. Let's see. Uh, Metamiro says, hey, how's it going? Grace, how's it going? Beast Killer says, it's my first time to watch your stream. Beast, welcome. I'm super glad you could be with us today. Uh, Gage, how's it going? Welcome. What all did you miss? Not much. We just hatched up a couple of creatures. Um, I'm kind of looking to get some crystal right now. And then we should be... I think we have crystal in here. We do have some crystal in here. I'm trying to basically finish off... Um, I need to put the Giga Egg away. Let's put it in here. I do need to... Uh, there we go. Make sure that it doesn't spoil on me. Oh, I'm still too heavy. Too much crystal. Oh, and stone. Oh my goodness. There we go. That ought to help. Here, I'll just put that in there. And then, yeah, there we go. Um, Yeah, so I need a couple more greenhouse structures, uh, which I have to get crystal into my mini base for. And then we can continue doing that. Bo says Fel has a gift for me. Okay. Fel, what's the gift? Oh, a fairy. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Fell. I love fairies. Oh, my goodness. That's a good level, too. An imprinted fairy can wreck, guys. I'm excited. Uh, Angelita says, who loves toast? Angelita, uh, I love toast. <laughs> Justin says, did you make it where we can't pick up Saber or Direwolf on the server unless there's tamed you can pick them up um yeah so that's actually not um that's not something i enforce that is something that is built into the game it's an anti-griefing measure that the devs put in so if there is a pve area on a server you can't pick up aggressive creatures because it's too easy to drop them onto bases and destroy passive tames so uh that's that's something you can only do on entirely pvp servers since this is a pvx clock server you cannot pick those up um, thank you so much, Fel, again. I'm so excited about this. Talentless says, bravo, I said, fuck as in, ah. <laughs> Talentless, watch that, please. Uh, v Gaming says, 50k subspace reveal. V Gaming, late April. Christian says, when are you going to show your face? Uh, late April, guys, late April. Let's actually just craft six of these. That'll work. I was going to make four, but six will work. I think I need to learn the ceilings as well. Greenhouse ceiling. Yeah, I know. I'm probably thirsty and hungry and all that stuff. There we go. All good now. 
Okay, uh, so Bo has stairs for us on Poopster, and we're good here. Let's start working on this. I like it. Okay, so we have those stairs. I need to put these in. Uh, I need to put more stone ceilings in as well, so I may need to do some gathering. I hope those are snapped correctly. Ah, I think they are. They're on the same level as the other greenhouse structures, so we should be okay. Um... <laughs> What if you accidentally ate the Therry egg? Fell, that would make me really sad. Luke says I should run the central cave with my level 158 saver, and I'm level 62. Uh, yes, Luke, you should. That should be okay if you're really careful in there. Um, obviously, if it looks like there's a lot of creatures and your saver doesn't have a ton of health, I would maybe uh, think about backing out, but otherwise you should be good to go. Death, your grandma's 106. That's amazing, actually. Sorry, guys, you're just looking at a griffin butt for no reason. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let's walk in here. I think I need to get some mats. There we go. Oh, the lag, it hurts. Okay, I've got stone walls, which is totally good. Now, I do need to get myself some stone ceilings, so mats collection time. Whoop. All right, hey, you two. All right, so I have some stone. Do I have wood? Or do I need to go get more? Ugh, oh, come on. Okay, we've got some wood. And we have a little thatch, so we're good for now. Go ahead and take some of this. Hello, Carno. Oh, I didn't mean to take it all. Oh, I accidentally took all the stone. Problems. There we go. All right, let's make all the ceilings. Um... <laughs> What is the level 51? Pff, what a nerd. Right, Nacho? I'm totally a nerd. Definitely. A100, how's it going, man? Welcome. Uh, how are you liking Toast Oasis 100? I did restart it this morning, so hopefully you were able to get back on it. Death says, what does Toast actually do? CC, thank you for saying you need to see thumbs up on the video. Um, so, Death, Toast actually uh, creates a really big buff for your creatures. So it's like a 50% stat increase on all creatures. Um, yeah, it's like a 50% stat increase on creatures of a certain size, basically. So like Rexes do not get the buff, but Iguanodons do. It's basically a lot of small lizards. Um, <laughs> Mardik says, do you like Arthropleura? Yes, I do like Arthropleura. I think they're a really cool tame. I especially like them now that they are um, able to damage metal. I think they're incredibly useful. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these stairs, because now I feel like I have to have beautiful stairs in here. Maybe I'll make a throne for the otter. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a throne for the otter. Um, <laughs> Doge says, what's your favorite dino besides an iguanodon? That's a good question, Doge. I really like griffins, but if you're talking strictly dinosaurs, it's probably the Carnotaurus. I really love Carnotaurus. I was wondering what you use as a food source. I use rare flowers. Uh, Cleocatra, I like rare flowers a lot. I prefer rare mushrooms because they don't spoil and they give you a little bit more food, but uh, rare flowers work perfectly fine. I need more ceilings. Oh my goodness. The struggle. The struggle is real. I might also put this theory egg down. I'm out of wood. Okay. I need more. Let's grab some of this. And some of this. I'm also going to need thatch soon. Let's make all of the stone ceilings. Um, what would I do if I hit 100k? Uh, Christian, I don't even know. I'd be so excited, honestly. I don't know that we'll make it that far as a channel. I'm hoping we do someday. We did just hit 50k, so it's not impossible to think that someday we might hit 100k, and that would be honestly so amazing. <sighs> Tyler says, give me toast to give me death. That's literally my mantra, Tyler. Adrian says, I'm trying to tame a level 12,500 dodo. Good luck, Adrian. I hope it works, man. That's gotta be rough. Yesenia, of course I remember you. Welcome back. Can I breed beavers, dodecks, and horses? Uh, Yesenia, I actually would love to breed those. I actually should 
read those. I don't know why I haven't um, so far. Honestly, definitely should. All right. I do need to go. Oh, there's wood in the theory. Okay. Sweet. People are being like awesome. I'm not even going to have to gather mats. Mm -hmm. I think this looks good. I'm so slow at the building process. Uh, let's go ahead and put the theory egg down and check on the babies. Eh. They look good. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. These guys are already so grown. Alright, Micro, come here. Alright, let's get some meat on you. Beautiful. And then make sure Shifter... Not Reaper. Make sure Shifter has some food as well. Just in case. We'll give it a little extra. Um... Ooh, more rare mushrooms. Thank you, man. Want food, please, otter. Yeah, I do need to get some food for the otter itself. Oh my gosh. Thank you, guys. Oh my goodness. Gathering mats for me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Everybody's always helping out. I love it. I love the team efforts here. Okay, so about 20 minutes till that gets... Uh, grown up. Omega has meat and mats. If it's too much, I won't be able to pick it up. I will get weighed down very quickly. Okay, let me, uh... No worries, Omega. <laughs> Just something to be aware of. Um... Zay Zay says, what happened to her Giga? Zay Zay, uh, my Giga is doing just fine, actually. Poseidon is doing good. He's chilling with the other Gigas. He's having a grand old time. Your otter's female and needs a name. Ooh, Cassie. A uh, female otter. Harriet. Harriet the otter, please. I love it. Oh, that's a cool looking fairy, too. Okay, cool. So I think that's the one that has all the wood on it. All right, let's go ahead and get this in here. All right, I'm also going to need some more thatch. Thatch and wood. Um, okay. Ah. All right, so is there wood on you? There is. Okay, there's lots of wood and lots of thatch. Cool, perfect. And some ceilings. Oh, my goodness. People are rocking it. Can I do this? Can I do it? Ha! Huh, with the long reach. I'm proud. I'm so proud of myself right now. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs> Make a few more of these just in case. You can never have too many stone ceilings, guys. There's a gift. What's the gift? Also, very pretty Spino. Ah! Hi, guys. More gifts. <laughs> Uh, Banana says, your tribe killed by Max Griffin. Oof, Banana, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Your wolf is called Indiana Bones. Hey, thank you for the blueprint, man. That's actually a beautiful name. Hey, it's Harriet. Hold up, hold up. Pablo's got to play with Harriet. Yes. Otter party. Oh, it's beautiful. It's meant to be. They love each other. They're friends already. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yes, they can make babies. And we've got Mr. Bubbles as well. It's a whole otter party, guys. Uh, Banana Popsicle Thief, how's it going? Ashlyn, bye. Thank you so much for stopping by, Ashlyn. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Angelita, welcome back. Iron Geek says, what have you been doing in quarantine? Um, mostly playing games. <sighs> Name the theory, Mr. Tickles. We could do that. Uh, otter mosh pit, pure salty, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, it's gonna be good. the The otter house is literally gonna just be pure, pure otter joy. Like, there's just gonna be otters everywhere. There's gonna be a little throne for Pablo. He's gonna love it. Um, gonna do all sorts of cool stuff. It's basically an otter house. Okay, cool. So that's that. 
Now, the real question is, how do I want to do the rest of this house? All right, I think we need all glass windows along the front so they have a nice, beautiful view. Um, and I am thirsty yet again. Do I have a canteen on me? I do. I do. Uh, when Dark Boy, how's it going? <laughs> Victor says, Iguana, what's up, Victor? Everybody sub to the queen. Uh, yes, please. I would love it if you guys subbed. Welcome to everybody who is subbing today. Fortnite says, I can't find the server. Fortnite, uh, it's called Toast District. Uh, Flaming Runner, thank you so much for saying I'm your idol, man. That means a lot to me. I hope you are having, like, a fantastic day. Yeah, Cassie, yeah, please start the auto-breeding. I'm all down with the auto-breeding program. Uh, I need more crystal. All right, let's go ahead and place down the two greenhouse walls I have. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, gonna get up here. I'm gonna place down the greenhouse walls I have. I do think I need... I definitely think I need a balcony in here. Um... Christian says, what would you do if your channel had zero subscribers? Uh, all of the sudden? Be pretty sad. Soul Fury, how's it going? There we go. Oh, an elegant chair. Thank you. <gasps> it's beautiful. I'm going to have to see if I can land an otter on the chair. That's going to be a thing. That's going to be a thing. We're going to have to try to put Pablo on the chair. So many creatures. I love the otter party. Oh my goodness. Buttercups is in here as well. It's fantastic, actually. Uh, Navia, thank you so much for the super chat, man. That is so appreciated. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Neon, PVE means player versus environment. Uh, it basically means that you are fighting basically the world itself rather than fighting other people. Uh, just another cat person. The face reveal is, uh, late April, currently. <sighs> Grace says, I think I may just have 40 otters. That's how you do it, Grace, honestly. Not gonna lie. Having 40 otters is not a bad thing. Okay, I need a greenhouse door. So, that's gonna be a bunch of crystal. Oh, raw fish meat for the otters! Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Pablo no starve. Pablo gets more fish meat, just in case. Omega's getting more chairs. Nice. We gotta have, like, thrones for all of the otter babies. Um, did I tame a Ferex? Yes, I do have a Ferex, Seize. Uh, I have three of them currently on one of my servers, and they are pretty great. I love them. <laughs> Uh, Charvis says, do you have a royal griffin? Charvis, yes, I have a couple of royal griffins. I'm actually, I have some eggs from them that I've been breeding up. Why is this blocked? Oh, people. Um, yay, thank you for the raw fish meat, guys. I actually might save some of this to tame another otter as well. I am going to be on the lookout for an otter to tame today. Just double checking on my egg. Perfect. Um, I've got spare structures. You know what else is weighing me down? It's probably the galley saddle. Poopster's gonna be my, like, pack mule for now. Hold on to things for me. Poopster's the man. Uh, <laughs> Cleocatris is named the theory Mr. Tickles. I will definitely keep that in mind as a name suggestion. <laughs> Ladin says, and the iguana, I can't add, uh... Your base is killing me all the time. Um, do you mean you can't go near my base because it lags your phone out? That's definitely a thing. Uh, Death, please no advertising for other servers in my chat. Just a, just a heads up. I do ask that people not advertise other servers in the chat or other games or other people, channels. Um, that says, how do you get Allosaurus egg fed? faster. Uh, Thud, to get an Allosaurus egg faster, the best way to do it is to tame some aloes. Honestly, tame a bunch of females, put a male in there with them, get an Avaraptor, put that in there with them, and then just collect eggs. It's, uh, it takes quite a while. I'm gonna need so much more crystal, guys. 
like so much more crystal. It's actually going to be crazy. Ah! So we are probably going to have to take uh, one of our other RGs over there and collect up. Um, name that theory Toasty Turkey. <laughs> toasty Turkey. I love it. Oh my goodness. Harriet ran away. I would run away too, honestly. That many people around me. Oof. Um, Low Killer, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? I'm actually having, like, a really good day. Uh, let's see. How'd you get all the chitin? Uh, Nero, I'm actually not sure. I didn't collect it. Uh, one of my tribe mates did. Vio says, how do you tame griffins? They're knockout tames, Vio, but you have to have their respect for them to be able to be tamed by you. All right, so let's make a few more of these. Getting the greenhouse structures all settled. Uh, Vaz says, uh, Iguana, I can't add to your bases because meal. Uh, so Vaz, um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Get Schwab in here. So Schwab comes in when she has time. She actually is in the tribe. She actually has popped in enough to the streams to uh, be added to the tribe so that she can come in and out and uh, be around. Ah. There we go. Sneaking out of the door. <laughs> so many people. Okay. There's an RG over there. Yes, place. There we go. We're going to have a little balcony. I need to make some metal railings for this area. I think it's going to be great, guys. I'm actually super hyped. Sulfur is just chilling out there. It's good stuff. Um, sex, only 20 people can join per. Yeah, Arc Noob. That does make it hard, but luckily the rest of the time, it's not so bad. Oh my gosh. Elegant tables, chairs, regular chairs. Yes. Sulfury says it's cold. Sorry, man. There you go. Coming inside where it's warm. Go in the basement where it's really warm. I should add a fireplace to this. There's going to be a fireplace in here. It's going to be a thing. I'm going to make it happen. Um, Someone has a friend for Pablo. Ooh, put him over with Pablo. Pablo's chilling next to the house, or should be. Actually, I don't know where Pablo went. I think Cassie probably has taken him places. Oh, they put him inside. Pablo's chilling with us. There we go. It's a council of otters. There's no such thing as a problem when you have that many otters. Uh, Wally says, hey, can you please name the theory Swipe? Oh, Swipe's a good name for one. Cryo Steel, welcome. How's it going? Uh, Raven says, I don't like Arc Mobile. It drains battery so quick, which is annoying. Uh, Raven, yes, it does drain your battery. I do play on battery saver mode, and I often have my phone plugged in when I'm playing, so that does help a little. Uh, Nicholas, how's it going? Welcome, man. Kristen says, what's the server called? The server's called Toast District, guys. What are my best tips for finding dire wolves in the mid-20s? Uh, Gage, so they're always up in the snow biome, just as a kind of a FYI. Um, I only ever find them in the snow, snow biome, pretty much. And basically, what you need is uh, enough wooden structures to make a trap. Uh, so if you watch, I think Schwalb has a lot of videos where she tames wolves. I certainly have a few videos where I tame wolves with a trap, but, um, I like to use bolas, but you can just build like a wooden trap if you're only level 20 and you should be able to get the wolf trapped and then knock it out, um, on your own time, basically. Uh, Spill Gits, yes, the, the server I'm on right now is non-patron. Uh, it's called Toast District. I also have Iguana PvE and Iguana PvP, both of which are free-to-access servers. I'm so excited by all of these structures. Elegant chairs, elegant tables. I need to, like, save up my amber and get the fancy bed and, like, a fancy rug and stuff, too. Because this has to be, like, the best house. Pablo needs the absolute best. 
Uh, I need to put up these railings. I totally forgot to grab other things. Thank you so much, Omega Man. They're so good. I'm so excited. Uh, this is very good stuff to have. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm too short. One or two short. I'm one short. Yeah, I need one more railing. Um, Lolly, yes, I always remember when I get schwabbed. I get schwabbed quite a bit, actually. <laughs> schwabbs always popping in here and, like, <laughs> messing in. I love it so much. Uh, it's just so much fun. All right, let's go ahead and grab... <laughs> Omega's leaving Indiana Bones here to defend Pablo. Uh, Omega, don't leave him here because PvP will come around and destroy him. Just, uh, just a heads up. I don't want him to get murdered by our turrets. That would be sad. Uh, name the theory Malaise. Oh, that's a good one. Victor, Moses can be found anywhere at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, you have an elegant rugs you're not using? Yes, Cassie. That's actually awesome. Um, they're gonna go in Pablo's house. I want, like, at least one in the basement. Possibly one up top. I'm not sure exactly yet. I gotta finish building the structure. We've got five minutes. I have to finish building the main structure before I worry about that too much. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, will I tame a Diplococcus? Do you mean a Diplocallus? Yes, I have tamed a Diplocallus in the past. They're not the most important. Like, they're not the most important thing to tame. Uh, they're certainly one of the less obvious creatures to tame. But I can and have tamed them before. Uh, I'm just going to craft these here. How many did I need? I'm going to make three. Um, what was my first tame? Christian, the first tame was a dodo. It was the first thing I ever figured out how to tame. <laughs> it was not easy. Um... I, I had no idea what I was doing. I kind of punched it and it went unconscious. And I was like, oh, okay. And then it was like, feed berries. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I had a dodo friend and it was great. Uh, but I was trying to kill them for the hide. So <laughs> it kind of turned a different direction, but it was okay. By the way, um, Hund and Apex guys, thank you. And P Banana as well. Thank you guys so much for uh, moderating for me today. I really appreciate the work you guys are doing right now. Seems like it's a crazy day in the chat. Uh, it's a tap. There we go. <laughs> Pay no mind to the squeaky noise. It's fine. Nobody heard a thing. Didn't happen. Wow, Cassie. What the heck with the chat? Basement. There you go. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. We have ourselves a large, elegant rug. Uh, Hund, uh, I'm doing really good. I don't know about you. I'm having a really good day. Um, Wally says, what was your 10th dino? Mine was Baryonyx. Wally, I'm not sure I remember. I had a lot of... Yeah, well, it's will be Pablo's bodyguard. I had a lot of, um... I need to get some oil lamps in here, too. I'm going to buy some oil lamps. I'm going to have, like, a lot of premiums in this little house for Pablo. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. I had a lot of uh, Packies, like the Pachycephalosaurus, and then um, Raptors and Dodos in the early game when I first started. I think I had probably a few different versions of those tames, um, and then I think Parasaurs as well were one of my earlier tames. I was going to put the seat, the walls down. I'm having such a hard time focusing, guys. My goodness. Someday. Someday I will get this. Butte has an otter. He does have an otter. It's buttercups, right? Butte has buttercups? Crystals are in the EK. Ah, thank you, guys. Fell has a gift as well. All right. I will chill here and people can throw boxes at me. Uh, the floor light, floor stand lights are nice. I do like those a lot, Bo. I actually really kind of want to get some, um, thank you for the hide, Fell. I kind of want to get some of the tech lights. I think those would look really good. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to get up to where I can run dungeons, and we may have to do that soon. Um, no K, yeah, we hit 50K, like, 
uh, over a week ago now, I think. It's been a while. Like, um, my foot itches. Uh, Duck says, I want to remember me. Yes, Duck. I do remember you. Um, Janu says, yeah, bad news. Iguana Gaming is gone. Uh, Janus, oh no, you mean your Iguanodon is gone? I'm so sorry. Elizara says, what's the name of the server? Uh, Elizara, the name of the server is Toast District. I've ever gotten raided. Christian, yes, we have gotten raided here. Oh, yes, I need to do a wolf uh, rug. Wolf rug would be cool. Or a bear rug. It's going to be a really cool looking little basement, guys. Um, Adrian, favorite tame on this server or in general? Dex is quack. Quack. How's it going, man? <laughs> Cece says we've been raided once successfully. That's true, but a few other people have attempted to raid us and we've managed to hold them off pretty well. Uh, Noke says, hello, do face reveal, please. Late April, Noke. Cooper says, name the theory Thud. That could be good as well. Oh my gosh, it's probably hatched up and I'm just sitting here like trying to figure stuff out. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these walls. Yeah, we're still good on weight. Um, okay. I'm gonna need some more greenhouse walls as well. Uh, Roberto, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. How's it going? Uh, someone asked about my real job. Uh, guys, this is my real job. I actually, uh, do YouTube and streaming pretty much full-time at the moment. I do have a part-time job as well. Claim. <gasps> it's purple. It's purple. It's purple and green. Look at this beautiful thing. It's got a little blue face on it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh my goodness. This theory is really gorgeous. Uh, theories eat berries. I should think about these things. Hey, it's in the stone house. Okay, good deal. Just to keep her safe. That's a good idea, Cassie. Keep Harriet safe until we can do that. I need berries, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe we'll hop out on the pony. The baby's mine. Oh, thank you so much, Cassie. All right, let's go ahead and take Jackie out. Jackie looks like our pumpkin horse. I love it so much. Totally orange and black. Come on, Jackie. I just need to gather a few berries for Theory, friend. All right, I got this. We definitely do need a good name for the theory. Okay, that's very glitchy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> right underneath me. Eh. Almost got enough berries. Okay. Got a few, anyway. Um... <laughs> Cooper says, name the theory Thud or Mona Lisa. Uh, I do like Thud quite a bit. Mona Lisa's pretty, I don't know, it doesn't look like a Thud, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's too pretty to be a Thud. Banana says, are you an only child? Uh, Banana. That's, that's an ironic question, guys. Uh, I'm not an only child. Banana Popsicle Thief is actually my sister. <laughs> Just FYI. No, no, I have, uh, I have three siblings. I have two brothers and a sister, guys. Only one of them hangs around the channel. That would be the sister. Uh, <laughs> TTV, get good, say, does she do a face reveal? 50k subs has been reached, so the face reveal is currently scheduled for late April, guys. Late April. It is a scheduled face reveal, uh, because I just, I have to collab with other people to get the right footage that I want for this video. So it's a thing. Alright, I still need a good name. What were the other name suggestions we had? We had a good, we had a few good ones. Here we go. People have been getting good stuff going. Um... <laughs> 
Milky Bean says hi. How long you streaming? Milky Bean, probably another two ish hours. Uh, Raven, thank you so much for the super chat. How's it going, Raven? <laughs> That's so appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, Banana is my sister. I love, like, the disbelief in the chat. Hund, I didn't say I had no sisters. I totally have sister. I have one sister. I don't think I ever lied about having a sister. I don't think I had any reason to. Um, Julie, thank you so much for the super chat. Julie, thank you so much. That is so appreciated, Julie. I hope you're having, like, the best day. Uh, am I nervous about showing my face? Um, a little. I'm hoping that people, uh, respond well to the video that I have in mind for the face reveal. I'm more excited, I think, than nervous. Um, but of course it's a new thing. It's a new thing I'm trying on the channel. There's definitely new tech involved. And so I'm a little nervous about making sure all the tech works. And all of that as well. Uh, bye, Krishna. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, Pearl. Pearl's pretty good. The same Seaster that hung around during the 24-hour stream. This is correct, CC. It's the same one. <sighs> Janus, you lost your journeyman sword. Oh, no. You're having a rough time of it. <sighs> uh, let's see. Cool, Oscar. Bye. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh my goodness, it's a ghost. Ghost, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a in a long while, man. It's been like, what, several months now. How's it going, ghost? Lavender. Lavender's pretty good. Tristan, yes, I do see your messages. Cookies and cream, that's pretty good as well. Uh... <laughs> Pearl or Abyss? I do like Pearl. And I do like Abyss. Oh, there's Buttercups. It's the Buttercups. I see Buttercups. She's so cute. My goodness. What an adorable little otter. I can do the crouchy thing. Look at that. Targeted. Targeted. I do like Pearl. So many questions. Um, Juniper. Oh, Juniper. Juniper's great, actually. Ghost says, three months. Good. Came back fighting World War Three. <laughs> well, I'm glad you survived, Ghost. Uh, and yeah, it's been a minute, man. I'm super excited. And Mr. Bubbles. Look at these so cute otters. Oh, my goodness. They, they chilling with us. All right, so I do, guys, I liked it, Juniper. It has to be Juniper. She's too, too pretty. Uh, there we go. That was it. Sometimes I see a name suggestion, and I'm like, yep, that has to be the name. That's definitely the name. I love the otters, guys. If you guys want to give me the otters, you do have to unclaim them, by the way. <laughs> uh, Ruby, I do remember you. How's it going? Hun says Iggy is the only person that I so watch on a weekly basis that's in my face. Hun, I feel so special. So special. Oh my goodness. Uh, which mobile do I use? Vinesh, I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus. Everything's like... Oh gosh. Stuck. I got it. Okay, I think we're good. Um, isn't Banana your sister? Ghost, yes. We were just discussing that. You came to congratulate me on getting 50k? Thank you so much, Ghost Man. Yeah, we did get there. It was, uh, it was crazy. It's been a crazy journey, and I'm like, I'm just so excited that we managed to get there, and that people have been so awesome the whole time. Like, the channel's grown so much, and I honestly cannot thank everybody enough for watching and hanging out with us and being here for the streams and stuff. It means a lot to me. Um, <laughs> why Juniper? Uh, so Juniper is a type of tree, guys, and it, I believe it has, like, a purplish flower. So just because of her coloring, I think it's a really pretty... It kind of reminds me of that, you know? Kind of reminds me of a Juniper tree. I think it's pretty. Uh, foo, face reveal is going to be a vid, a video. 
<laughs> yes, Victor, banana is my sister. Monkey Man, hello, welcome. True do suck. Yes, hunt, they do. Cece says, okay, before I leave, I just want to remind everyone real fast to go like the video. Thank you so much, Cece. Yes, guys, if you are enjoying, please remember to hit the like button. Really, really does help me out. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night, Cece. Thank you so much for stopping by. Always love to see you on these streams. Um, <laughs> Gavin, what have you missed? Uh, we've been hatching a few things, mostly. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to like read the chat. Okay, I think we're good. Juniper, buttercups. I love everyone just hanging out with their otters and the babies. Like, it's actually kind of awesome. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and check on... Doo -doo -doo. Let's go ahead and check on the base here. I'm trying to re get like a handle on what I need to do next. There's Crystal and the Inky, which is great. They left torches everywhere. <laughs> a little framey, but it works. Um, Alright, so we did that. Alright, I do think I need windows on the sides as well a little bit. It doesn't have to be quite as intense, but definitely do need windows. And I'm trying to see, I might make this go up a third story here. The basement can be a two-story but I kind of want to put three stories on the top. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Two or three stories. Gosh, it's so bright with all those torches. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, Kelvin, thank you so much for the super chat donation. He says, hey you, how's it going, Kelvin? Welcome. I feel like tech should be added to ARC. Uh, Ghost, tech was added to the mobile game. Bye, Grace. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> three story. All right, guys. Three story it is. We're going to have to put in a few more mats then. I should ask the devs to add tech and toast to arc. Ghost. Ghost. They literally added both of those items to arc. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been since you've played, but they added a toast item and tech is in the game now. Um. <laughs> Fan gamers, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. What would you do if you have numbers at the end of your name for Tim and Griffin? Uh, Cleocatra, they introduced something called a name change ticket. I would use one of those and change your name. Yes, Zek, if they stay until PvP, you can eat them. I was going to put up, I had stuff. Oh no, I've gotten myself in trouble. I stuck. Uh, can I do the long reach? Yes. I feel so good. Okay, there we go. I love that long reach. It makes me happy. Alright, so I think we might continue the windows. For clarity? Yeah, for consistency's sake, we'll do this. Okay, three high. There we go. Alright, and then we're going to put... I'm actually trying to think of where to put the door. I might put the door kind of like a little off center right here. I think that'll be nice. Then we can put like a little table stand next to the door. Some like nice furniture looking up here. We still need one more railing. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I kind of build messily, especially when I'm distracted, guys. So I do appreciate everyone hanging out and sticking with me. Uh, let's see. What does PVE stand for? PVE stands for Player versus Environment. Uh, did I tame a Mega Kellen? No, I have not tamed a Me Mega Kellen yet. I do want to. I feel like they would be pretty easy as long as you had two people, because you do kind of need someone playing guard, which is tricky. Do I know what the next dungeon will be? Low killer. The next dungeon, I do not know. The devs do not tell me that information. I wish I had it, but they don't tell me. All right, what was I making? I'm so bad at this. More greenhouse, more greenhouse ceilings. <laughs> no, not ceilings, walls. Oh my gosh, it's a struggle today, guys. 
Uh, yes, exactly, Apex. Thank you so much. Uh, you have a great idea, Ghost. They should add a dungeon where they have bosses and it changes every week. Ghost, that's a great idea. They should totally add dungeons and have a different boss every week. That would be amazing. <laughs> Overlord, I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus. Oh, you mean Arc PC. Okay. Uh, Overlord, I have a custom built PC. Um, it is a very, very good PC, in fact. I love it very much. Uh, but it is custom built, so the specs are a little hard. I do. Oh man, I need to get a spec sheet up. So I have the, I have like the server rates and stuff for my, um, why did I take the crystal over here? Why am I such a fool? Hold these for me. I have so much fiber on me too. I'm going to take this crystal in here. We're going to make these things in here. Huh? <sighs> what a challenge. Um, Raven, thank you so much for the super chat. The name of the server is Toast District. Uh, T-O-A-S-T and then space district. So it is a pretty easy server to find. Make sure you're searching in the NA region and just make sure that you have, uh, like Toast typed into the chat filter, the server filter. Um, Autumn, thank you so much. I'm really glad that you were able to stop by today. Ghost, no, don't expose me. How dare you say that my sister's in chat today. I feel so exposed now. Why do I have so many rock carrots? I like it. I'm gonna tame a horse with it, probably. We all know how that goes. If I get carrots, the first thing I do is go find a pony. Uh, bye, Wally. Thank you so much for hanging out. Gavin says, do you have any tips for building? Uh, I keep running into stuff because I'm reading chat instead of paying attention to where I'm walking. Yes, tips for building. I actually have a few tips for building, um, but they're really more of like those like design elements you can kind of use to help put into your bases. Uh, if you really want some really good tips, I actually recommend that you talk to the mod in the chat, Apex Predator Gaming right there. He's actually a very talented builder in ARC, um, does a much better job than I ever could, and uh, you should definitely, if you have any specific questions, he's awesome to go to for, for that kind of thing. Big shout out to Apex. I think he was going to try and make videos at some point, but I don't think he's done that yet. All right, let's go ahead and get these up. Yay! Now I only need, like, nine more. Um, <laughs> Spartan, what about you? Spartan, yeah, Spartan's a really excellent builder as well, and Spartan's really good at making, like, large bases that are, like, really consistent. Like, they actually feel like houses. It's crazy. It's really, really cool. Like, mansions. Uh, so Spartan's really good as well, um, if you guys want to ask him. Yeah, Spartan, I haven't seen one of your builds in a while. Do you have new ones I could look at? I should show some of these builds off from the patrons, especially. Um, <laughs> try to tame a Daedon. Beast Killer, I have tamed Daedons in the past. Uh, they're really more trouble than they're worth, to be honest. <laughs> I love Daedons, I do, but on mobile, they don't really have much of a purpose, uh, since they really... The crystal's on the Anki. Um, they don't really have too much of a purpose on mobile since there is kind of a, uh, not, there's not a boss fight that involves dinos. So unless you have, like, injured Rexes or Theries or whatever you're using to boss fight, you don't really need a Daedon. Um, Adrian, what's your favorite team in the server that you have? Adrian, probably Pablo. <laughs> It's either Pablo or Jackie, because I love Jackie as well. Uh, and in case you guys were wondering, we have Spice and we have Jackie, and I think Jackie looks like Halloween on a horse, and it's amazing. But Pablo is the best, obviously, because Pablo is the cutest thing in the world. Uh, I need to put his bandana, bandana back on so that everyone knows it's Pablo. It's a thing. He needs his wolf head, too. Um... 
What's the time now? Uh, so the time now where I am, Hussam, is 7.22 p.m. Adam, can you help guard? Adam, uh, if you'd like to. I don't see any reason why not. Uh, I do ask that people give me a little bit of distance here when I'm building because it does make it a little easier not to, like, you know, run into people every two seconds. It helps a lot to have a little bit of space, but I'm happy to have people wandering around, hanging around while I'm doing all this. Um, these are kind of community streams in my mind, and I do like to have people around for them. This is painful. We're doing it anyway. Buttercups, hello! Oh, so slow. We're doing the slow run. So majestic. Look at us go. Uh, Arctube, is this a hard server? No, this is, I believe this is a medium difficulty server, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what's my favorite art creature, Iguanodons? I did it. I did done did it. I did it. I got it. Oh, thank goodness. We made it. We made it. All right. Uh, Fair Celtius is a wish that mobile has the item pull feature from S+. Pure Salty, that would actually be amazing. Not gonna lie. That would be super, super handy. All right. I made four. Now we make five. Did I make five and now I make four? Yes. I did that correctly. Okay. Um, Christian, yeah, I do have pets. Uh, I actually have two dogs. What kind of chips do I like? Oh, that's a good question, Toast. You know, it's sad. Okay, I love, 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 love Cheetos. Like, an unhealthy amount, I love Cheetos, right? But the problem is, guys, is that I'm actually allergic to milk. And Cheetos are made, in fact, with cheese. So I can't have Cheetos anymore, and it makes me super upset because, like, I've actually had minor allergic reactions to eating Cheetos because it was, like, it was at the time worth it to me to, to have the reaction so that I could eat the Cheetos. It's not okay anymore because my reactions have gotten worse, but um, there was a time when I tempted fate by eating Cheetos. <laughs> uh, it was so bad. I really shouldn't have done that, but I did. There is a green beacon coming down, literally in the house. Is there anything good in it for Pablo? Pablo needs stuff. Oh, it's not going to let me open it. It's just going to be decaying. I'm so sad. Open. Yes! Wooden structures. You know what? There is a... We, I think we got a wooden billboard in there. We did. This is actually perfect. I don't think I can place it down there. I have to place it like here. Yes. This is perfect. Hold up, guys. Let me, like, not be pressing all the wrong buttons. No, it doesn't like it. I hate that it doesn't like special characters. There we go. Pablo's Palace. Now everyone knows. Everyone knows. Um, <laughs> Sam says your eyes in the game are green. Yes, because I actually have green eyes in real life, and so I almost always make my characters have green eyes, although my eyes are a much darker green than the green you see on the actual character. The character's eyes are like scary, scary green. Um, the Otter Squad, right? <laughs> Tristan says, how do you find eerie creatures or do you have to make eerie creatures? Tristan, yes. Um, so you can find eerie creatures by doing dungeon runs, that's one way. And then another way to get eerie creatures is to uh, use the tech kibble processor and you can process implants and kibbles into other types of kibble. Sometimes the implant you use to do that will uh, let you, it'll come back as an eerie implant. So that's how I get eerie griffins. Um, Hunters, hello, how's it going? 
What's your favorite movie? Christian, uh, it's actually a really old movie called The Court Jester. I love it very much. Um, Gavin says, what happens when you chronicle an animal? Uh, Gavin, it just makes it stored in its implant. It doesn't count towards your tame limits anymore. So, like, it saves you tame slots. And then on top of that, uh, it's only too amber to bring it out of chronicle. So chronicling is actually a really, really good thing to do. Uh, very, very helpful for the game and for your tribe and keeping track of what you have and stuff. And keeping your base clean and lag-free. Would I like to have the Karkonos in Arc Mobile? Ninja, I love the Karkonos. I would 100% love to have the Karkonos in Mobile. Issue being... They have way too many abilities, and they are a little bit broken. Guys, I can't get out when you stand in front of the door. There we go. Too close. Thank you for all the crystal, though, man. Oh, no. Uh, hi, Sonic. Guess what? You're gonna help me. Thank you so much for all the crystal. Yay, thank you, banana. All right, let's go ahead and grab... Uh, I'm glitching all over the place. I think I need more stone walls. All right, we'll take some of the wood, we'll take some of the stone, we'll make it a thing. There we go. All the things. Uh, and then I also need enough stuff to craft a door, and I still need one more iron railing. Oh my gosh. A little scattered today, but we got it. There we go. Uh, Corvus, are cryopods immobile? Also, Thylus should be immobile. Uh, Corvus, cryopods are not immobile because we do have that chronicling feature. And then Thylas, I would love to see in mobile, but they will never be added because they have that, um, they do have that ability to climb and that would actually cause a lot of meshing issues. Like, players would be falling through the map all the time if they added Thylas to mobile, which is not what you want on a game where, you know, you can't get attacked when you're under the map. That's bad. So, uh, it's a balancing thing, but they can't add the thylas. It's just too, too buggy and won't be a thing. Um, Luke says, I hate the central cave. I fell in the water and nearly died, but you have a good sword, so you're okay, but you got the artifact. Nice, Luke. <laughs> I mean, at least you got the artifact, right? Like, that's a win. Uh, yeah, the central cave is definitely tricky. I'm not gonna lie. It's a, it's a very tricky cave to, to get the hang of. I probably don't need that many stone walls, but we'll make one more just in case. Or maybe I don't have enough, actually. I'm not sure how many of these I put in here. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Need my door so that we can get in. I am going to need to finish the ramps so that it's uh, fully ramped up to the door itself. Wonderful. Okay, and now we place all the walls. One wall short. I'm really good at this, guys. One wall short. But we're getting there. Um, <laughs> Ramsey says, uh... Hi, all. Stay to the end. Do you remember me? Ramses, I do remember you, man. And yeah, I would appreciate it if you guys wanted to stay that long. That would be kind of amazing. Butte, here you go. Come get your otter. He's standing guard. I don't want him to get locked in. Poor buttercups. Um, <laughs> Tots says, can I join the server? I'm new to Arc Mobile. Tots, yes. The server is called Toast District. It's an unofficial server hosted in the NA region. You are totally free to join it. Um, it might be full at the moment because I'm streaming, but it's usually not. So you should have some space in here to come and hang out. And it's a, it's a really good server. We have a lot of nice people on here. So I, I do like to have people come in. All the new folks. All right. Let's see where we're at with the stone. Okay. So I can make one more of those. Cool. Cool. And then I am going to need to make myself some more ceilings, which I'm going to need wood for. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer half this crystal. No, why am I so heavy? What am I carrying? Oh, it's the stone. Derp. Okay. Uh, I am going to need to gather a little bit more stone and wood, I think, probably. Something along those lines. Because I need to make some greenhouse ceilings now. 
because I am going to make some skylights for this. Brayden says, I watch your videos all the time. Thank you so much, Brayden, man. I appreciate it. Sangmunger, I do remember you. Welcome back, man. How's it going? Ryan, my server name is Toast District. What's the best dinosaur to use in the Yeti cave? Sam, the best dinosaur in the Yeti cave is probably a wolf with an ascendant helmet on. Um, do I remember you from the previous one that you asked me about the Terra? Yes, that is where I remember you from. Uh, I usually have a pretty easy time remembering people who come in and chat and ask questions. I do my best. Uh, for the most part, I have a pretty good, pretty good record. I need metal. That's an oop. I have no metals. Uh, I may steal metals from the base. <laughs> I feel bad. I didn't gather it. I, I breed lots. No, I don't. I'm actually almost never on. I'm so sorry, tribe mates. I will make it up to you. I will get you skins and things. I'm gonna steal some metals. Um... <laughs> I Plum Dolphin, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the stream. Captain For Real says, or Captain Real says, can I join your tribe? Captain, uh, the tribe is currently closed, sadly. Uh, so you will not be able to join it. Uh, it's just a matter of having too many people that want to join and not enough space for everybody. So sadly, that's not a thing that we can do. I don't know why I always go in like the long way, but there you go. Eh. Let's go up here. Wait, metal. I'm carrying all this metal for a reason. Let's do the metal. Oh, I need to check on the... I need to check on the babies, too. That's gonna be a thing. Last drink of water, so we're gonna have to go down to the river as well. Alright. There we go. That's too many ceilings, but it's fine. I'll use them all eventually. Do -do 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 -do. Buttercup is standing guard. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and put in this last wall. I'm taking, like, my sweet time making this base. I like it, though. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. This beautiful, elegant rug in here. Looks amazing. Yes, yeah, skylights. Okay, so the idea is to put skylights in here, um think I'm going to do like a ringed sort of skylight just to give it some extra light because these rooms can get pretty dark, so I do want to make sure I have some good stuff in here. Fel has stuff. What's up, Fel? Ooh, thank you so much for the Mastercraft Tech Saddle Blueprint, man. That's awesome. Might have to get some trikes. A uh, little killer. How's it going? Please level. Okay. Just for you guys. I'm doing the leveling thing. Um, <laughs> Hannah says, I wish I had a PC that could run ARC. Hannah, uh, it's so good. I definitely love playing ARC on PC. Um, <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, Zeth, uh, Banana is actually a sister, so she just mods the stream, uh, and makes sure people don't go, like, being super toxic in the chat for me. Uh, she doesn't need to play ARC for that. She just hangs out. Um, we do have plenty of people who know a lot about the game who are in the chat as well. You can always feel free to ask them questions as well. Uh, Gavin, yes, I do stream almost every day. The only day I haven't been streaming lately is on Saturdays. Um, I did kind of switch up my schedule. So, pretty much every day, dude. Like, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. So, six out of the seven days a week. Most of those streams, I will say, are on uh, Twitch, so if you are interested in that, you can check those out over there at Iguana with Toast, but um, it is a lot of streams for sure. I need more stone. I need more stone. This is a problem. I'm going to have to take Sonic out. Sonic. You got to say it weird or it doesn't count. Uh, do I play Pokecord? Royal Pufferfish. I have played a little Pokecord. The problem is, is that I only know, like, Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon. Because uh, those were the only ones I played. So I don't really know too much beyond that. So a lot of the newer ones I don't 
collect because I just don't know them, which is kind of sad because they're all pretty cool, but most of them don't look goofy. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and start placing up these ceilings. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to try to do sort of a a strip of skylights. Hopefully it'll look good. Uh, but I want to do like a circle of skylights. Oh, it's raining. Heck yes. Refill everything. Yes. The luck. If you just hold out long enough, it will rain. And you won't have to visit the water. Skeels. Ammo King. Welcome, man. How's it going? Um, uh, he says... Wyverns need to be a thing. I would actually love to see Wyverns on the game. I don't know that we ever will, but it would be amazing. Have I seen Trubish? Uh, no, I've not. <laughs> Christian says, what's your favorite color? Favorite color would be like a dark green. Uh, kind of hard to describe, but it's like a really rich green. Eliasar, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, it's basically like a really dark green. Like, if you think of like a cedar kind of green. It's like a dark, rich green. It's the best way I can think to describe it. It's a very specific shade of green that I like. <laughs> um, Jody, hello, how's it going? Eliezer says, please, can you tell me the server name to enter? And I subbed. Uh, it's called Toast District. NA region, man. Just unofficials, uh, unofficial server list, NA region, type in Toast. It should pop up. Will I ever play on Genesis? Little Killer, yes, I play on Genesis all the time, actually. Uh, I normally am streaming Genesis right now. Uh, so that's something you'll have to watch over at on Twitch. But um, I am playing Genesis for the Cross Arc series as well. It's just kind of, I'm trying to play all the maps for the Cross Arc series. So it's going to be a little scattered. It's not going to be a consistent series yet. Um, yeah, so that's that's how that series is going so far. I don't like the fog events, guys. It's so hard to see. Uh, Golden Star, why are you sorry? Pure Salty, if I can fix the Valguero save, I will play it again. But it's a matter of making sure it's fixed. Uh... I like turtles, says, I know this is out of the blue, but have you gotten a cyan color on a spino? I have actually gotten cyan on spinos before I like turtles, and it is beautiful. I love getting the cyan color on stuff. It's so good. Um, can I roll? I could roll. I could roll, but why? Why? Alright. Wedged in here between the beaver and the dodic is a good place to be. Let's grab this. And uh, let's grab some stone. Trap it. Trap what? Uh, Brian, any tips on taming your first rex? Brian, be faster than the rex. <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy to tame rexes, actually, uh, because they're really big targets, right? But uh, the trick is definitely to make sure that you can outrun it. You don't want to let it hit you. Um, and when it starts to run away, you want to be able to chase it down. I don't even recommend trapping Rexes because it's too easy to tame them. Like, you just need to make sure that you can follow them and you're going to be fine. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit more stone and a little bit more wood. I bet I'm out of thatch. I bet 100% that I'm out of thatch. Very soon. Hopefully this is enough ceilings to get us the first level done. Who would win a battle? Sonic or Sonic? Uh, definitely Sonic. Hanabu, how's it going? Welcome. What did you miss? Not too much. Uh, we are building the house for Pablo, man. It's going really well. Uh, our little otter is going to be super, super happy with his house. He's already pretty happy with how it's shaping up. Uh, it's coming along. It's really coming along. We're getting, we're up to the roof area now. I'm just trying to put a good roof on it. And then we're going to start the interior decorating process, which I'm kind of hyped about, not going to lie. Um, 
And I think we'll have just enough time to do some interior decorating today. Oh, I need to check on the babies again. I keep forgetting. I don't want them to starve. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, so the center section here is literally like a two by two by three. Should I make it all greenhouse? If it was three wide. Mm, yeah, we're going to make it all greenhouse. It's going to be a giant skylight. Why not? Um, Mark, thank you so much for subbing, man. How's it going? Welcome to the stream today. Oh, the frames. They hurt. Literally hurts my eyes. <sighs> Guess this is Pablo's gonna be a daddy soon. I'm so excited. I gotta take a look at Harriet. In 45 minutes? I'm so excited. We're gonna have to go hunt some fish meat too. Pablo's gonna be a proud daddy. I'm starving. That's good. Okay, let's uh let's eat some stuff. Okay, uh let's go ahead and put these away this away, put this away, and let's grab, I think I only needed six of these. I'm gonna grab this wooden ramp. I need to make another railing. I think we're almost done, guys, with the exterior. I'm excited. Heck and heck, doing good. Uh, let's actually make a few more of these ramps. Make sure they're ramps and not ceilings. I learned my lesson. Um, <sighs> oh my goodness. Uh, Sound effect with iguana. Do, do, do. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I I do make that noise a lot when I'm just wandering around the base. I actually do that IRL too. I literally wander around my house sometimes and just hum that like <laughs> do, do, do. I do that to myself all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hopefully people think it's adorable and not weird. Uh okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You Goofies is looking for friends to play with. You Goofies, you came to the right place, man. I'm sure there are tons of people in chat who are looking for tribe mates or other people looking for people to hang out with. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Gotta have it be, like, super bright and open. Um, Spartan, Spartan, don't start. I should I should sing a song. Uh, so mean, Spartan, so mean. Everyone always wants me to sing. Uh, Milky says, hey, you're doing great with streaming. How much longer are you streaming? And by the way, Pablo really do be in the luxury. Right, Milky? He has such a nice place. He's even got his own little balcony. He can come and chill out here. I love it so much. Um... Just wait till I get the interior decorated. It's gonna be fancy. Fancy as all get out. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I will be streaming for another like hour or twenty minutes. I normally stream for about three hours at a time. Uh, same same deal today. All right. Um, where did I put that? Cause this is what I was looking for. There we go. And then I need to make sure the ramps are finished. Are the ramps actually already finished? No, I needed one more. I made extras. It's fine. They can be useful for other things. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Why? Wait, what? Wait, what? Why? No, no snap of the ramp? Ramp no want to snap? I can't move? It's good? Oh gosh. Come on, ramp. Please don't let me down. This is gonna drive me crazy. Oh no, it doesn't want to snap! Uh, mistakes! Mistakes! Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> Whatever. I'll, I'll worry about it later. The rest of it looks good. I'm not gonna undo the whole build for one stupid ramp. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, little killer, what made me start? Um... What made me start doing YouTube? Uh, Lil Killer. 
So I started doing YouTube mostly as a way to practice public speaking uh, because previously before I was doing a lot of streaming and YouTube stuff, I actually was a scientist, uh, still am actually, but uh, kind of between science jobs at the moment while I'm doing this. And what I did for science, I kind of was an evolutionary biologist, um, but I was practicing, I was doing YouTube I was doing YouTube to kind of practice my public speaking because I wasn't very good at speaking consistently, at talking in front of large groups of people, and that was something that was really required for what I was doing. So uh, I did decide to practice that, and that's why I originally started making videos, because that was something I had always enjoyed watching, and I thought it would be fun to give it a try. I happened to get into the Arc Mobile beta, and it just, it's gone crazy from there. It's been incredible growth on the channel and uh i actually really really love the streaming so that's um i'm really lucky that i actually get to do this almost every day now um i can put foundations there to extend further bow i may have to glendale i do remember you how's it going uh, Victor says, what was it like being a scientist? Uh, <laughs> stressful. <laughs> it was, it was good. I, I really do like being a scientist. I love the research. I love everything about it. Um, except that it was, uh, it's sort of a very political type of field. Like, there's a lot of politics involved in academia. Uh, there are a lot of toes to step on, and... It was just hard to keep up with so many, so many people, um, and so many different competing interests that seemed to make almost no sense, uh, for a field that's based around logic, right? So it did frustrate me, and I got really burnt out. It was, it was a lot of work for not a lot of pay, and, um, I don't know, I, I was working, like, 16-hour days <laughs> at one point, and barely barely able to pay bills so it it just got real frustrating and I definitely could make more than that now but um that job I was on stressed me so much that I decided to take a little bit of a break and I'm really lucky I've had YouTube to fill in that time in the middle um I will probably eventually get another job in science because I do kind of miss it now but uh it did take me a while to get to where I missed it um, Peyton, so the kind of science, uh, that I do, I'm an evolutionary biologist, so I, and I'm also a geneticist, so I kind of study how genomes change over time in populations, uh, and we do that using models, using natural populations that we have records of, um, all sorts of things, but it's, uh, it's a really cool field, it's a really interesting stuff, and it does, um, it mostly teaches you how complicated life is, and I love it. Uh, bye, Janus. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, Glendale, yeah, it's biology, mostly. I do a little bit of chemistry, uh, not so much physics, um, mostly biology. <laughs> bye, Hussam. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, Draco says, Iguana, please say, oh no, we've started the thing. Everything top five horror. Uh, mental, I don't know where mental is. He was around a little bit. Uh, he's been kind of back in the community a little bit, but um, not a ton. Uh, mental's, I think he's kind of stopped playing Ark for the most part and is kind of doing his own thing, but he has stopped by to say hi. We do miss him. Hi, pupper. What are you doing? <laughs> My dog just like freaked out uh, and ran across the room for no reason. Not Mr. Beast, how's it going? Welcome, man. Gavin says, I want to be a biologist. How did you get into the field? Um, so I basically started by volunteering at, uh, actually, I guess I didn't really volunteer. I, I did get, like, a temporary job at a summer, sort of a summer job when I was a teenager at a wildlife refuge, and I'd always had interest in genetics and biology uh, from high school subjects and stuff like that. So um, I feel like he was running after me. Yes? Hello? Hi. Um, 
There we go. So I I kind of got into it that way. I've done it not the easiest way to get into. I've been really lucky that I've had good teachers along the way who have helped me, um, really helped direct me into that field a little bit better. Don't land in the base, guys. There you go. All right, double checking the babies here. All right, everybody's still doing good. I love them. Juniper's so pretty. And then where are we with imprints? We still got a ways to go before they need imprints. You don't want anything for like another hour and a half. We're going to be well done with stream by then. Actually kind of useful, not going to lie. Um... Ooh, is it good? No, not really. Darn. <laughs> Glendale says, oh yeah, I remember those dogs. They're so good. Uh, and he went back in the corner and immediately fell asleep. He's so cute. Schwab posted by, uh, was Schwab hanging out? I didn't see a Schwab. I did not see a Schwab. Um, Schwab's a mod on the channel, guys, so I would know if she popped in. Uh, Victor, you want to be an engineer? Engineer is a fantastic field to go into. I do recommend it. Uh, sing at 200 likes? Uh, oh gosh, that's only two likes away. Guys, what do you want to hear me sing then? Uh, <laughs> please sing. Oh goodness. Uh, Dark Matter, Schwab is just my friend. Um, no, Banana is the only sister I have. Storage box. Sweet! Um, and then, can we ally after the stream? Fell, uh, that's something I will need to discuss with my tribe first, since, uh, they actually play a lot more than I do on here. Uh, that would make it kind of relevant, especially since it's PvP, but I would probably be okay with it, because Fell's been super awesome and helpful. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hollow, how's it going? Welcome. Like Turtle says, no internet. Oof, no internet's bad. Sing Rough God. I don't know Rough God, guys. I really don't. Should sing Born Ready by Zade Wolf. Uh, I don't know that one either. Weekend by Starboy. I don't know that one either. Awake from my slumber. Oh my gosh, guys. You know so much better music than I do because I don't know any of those. <laughs> I don't know any of those songs. Uh, what about the cup song? Do you guys like the cup song? I can sing that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Bye, not Mr. Beast. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. And thank you for reminding people that we're amazing. Oh, wow. That got the likes up real fast. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, someone mentioned singing and the likes just go, whew. All right. We're going to give you all the fish meat for now so that you aren't getting hungry while you're getting ready to have your baby, Harriet. Uh, and then we need to check on... I'm going to check on the base here. Not the base. Pablo's Palace and see what we need. So I think the main structure of the house is done. I think it looks pretty darned good. Uh... Nane says, how about fake love from Drake? I don't know that one either. Uh, is Schwab a she? Uh, Geeky, I actually don't know. I refer to them as a she because they always use a female character, but I actually don't know their true gender. Um. <laughs> Phantom says, see ya. Bye, Phantom. Thank you so much for hanging out. Spartan says, I don't want the cup song stuck in my head again. I'll take that as a no. Um, what songs do I know? Peyton, uh, The Wolf by the CMEs, um, The Cup Song, obviously, since I suggested it, American Pie, uh, Hallelujah's a really good one. No one ever asked me to sing that one, but I actually love that one. What to click on Avaraptor to increase egg farming? Thud, uh, just put them on Wander and weigh them down with stone so that they can't move, and then everything in the area will get a little egg buff. Uh, that would show up like a the same way a feeding trough buff shows up on the creature next to their name. They should get a little egg buff. <laughs> Everyone's a sing and you sing. Sing She Wolf? That's a heck of a song. Uh, I do like this song, but not when I sing on stream. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so as I find that an actual interesting field of science, and I've been thinking about working in science when I'm older, but right now I'm planning on working in electrical prosthetics, like arms and stuff. Uh, actually, Kai, that would be a fantastic field to go into, I'm not going to lie. It's it's a really, really good field. There's You can help a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of good career potential there as well. So uh, do keep that... Keep that in there because that's a it's a cool field and it involves a lot of different types of science as well. Um, Corvus says, "What made people want to hear you sing so much?" I honestly don't know. Sing Smash Mouth. You guys want to hear All Star? I do like that song. <laughs> uh, Amar says, "Bye, I'm going to play Arc Mobile." Bye, Amar. All star, yeah, sing all star. Oh goodness! All right, <laughs> I guess it's all star. Oh my goodness, guys! Hey, Soul Gamer, how's it going? Look at everybody. Uh, Mark and C, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel, man. How's it going? I got this. I do got this. Smash mouth. All right. Okay, I have to like half take off my headset so that I can hear myself so that I don't get totally off key. <laughs> oh boy, bear with me guys. If you hate to hear people sing, please do uh, plug your ears right now. <laughs> What's going on? People like to hear me sing. Okay. It wasn't the whole song, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I gave you two verses of it. Um. <laughs> uh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I do appreciate everyone loving it. Um. Thank you guys so much for, for loving the singing. I, I get a little bit self-conscious about it because I know I'm not, like, professional, but I do appreciate that everyone enjoys it on here. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and start thinking about decorating. Really? You, did you crash in the house? I'm so sorry. I'm going to be very stuck. I love how we have guards outside. <laughs> Literally, everyone's standing out here, like, threatening people with spears and guns. Like, stay out of the house. Um, <laughs> Spartan says, sorry, but the likes seemed a little low. True, Spartan, they do seem a little low. Uh, <laughs> we now need Shrek 5. <laughs> I would actually... I think Shrek... I think the second Shrek was good, and then the third Shrek was, like, okay, and then after that I kind of stopped watching them, you know? Like, the, the best ones were definitely one and two. Two held up pretty well to the first one. Two might actually be my favorite. Um, 
Jess says, I was actually playing the drums along with your singing. Nice, Jeff. I'm glad I could help you practice. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Uh, <laughs> next song at 300 likes? All right, that's fair. If we could get up to 300 likes, I will sing again, guys. How's that? Nero says, why are we even talking about Shrek? Uh, Nero, because All Star is a song that was featured in Shrek, and that's uh, really where it became super famous. Uh, so that's everyone, when you hear that song, you think of that movie for some reason. Um, Ruby, we're not talking about stress. We're talking about Shrek, the movie. After three, it just evolved, right? Yeah, pretty much. Otaku says, people with cyan armor are your guards. I love it. <laughs> are you guys, like, handing out dye to the people who are guarding? <laughs> That's amazing. Ramses, thank you so much, man. I appreciate everyone loving the singing. I I do it because you guys seem to enjoy it, so I'm glad. <laughs> Glendale says, I'm gonna go for a pizza. Enjoy it, Glendale, for those of us who can't. What am I trying to put in this house, guys? I keep getting distracted. Oh my goodness. You know what? We have a chef station. Where's the kitchen gonna go? We need a kitchen. The otters have to have a proper kitchen. Uh, you know what? The kitchen needs to be in the basement, because it's like the, the pad down here, you know? It's gotta be, like, all fancy. Um, so he needs, like, a corner kitchen, maybe under the stairs here. I think that's gonna look good. Um, Tristan says, I'm super a hatchet. My phone died, so your body's in base. Tristan, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I can work around it. Yeah, here we go. I gotta place this just right. I love it. Kitchen under the stairs. It's beautiful. We've got our little, like, cooking area over here so that the otters can make some snacks. Like some fried fish, fish poppers. I don't even know. Um, TJ Music says, will you make merch anytime soon? TJ, I actually have merch. Uh, there's a link in the video description down below if you want to check it out. Thud, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the stream uh, and to the channel. I really hope you're enjoying today. Um, but... Spartan says should go with my kitchen design. Spartan, I probably should. I really need, but there's not a lot of space in here, so I kind of have to minimize space, and the chef station's a good way to do that. Because um, it makes it look like a kitchen without taking up a ton of area, and it's one of those few things that I use consistently anyway, so it's good to have it around. It's practical. Um... Let's see. Commando, thank you so much for posting the merch. Uh, Apex, thank you for posting the merch. Oh my gosh, everyone's got it. Thank you guys. Two different links to the merch. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tyler says, do you uh, really trust people with your chef station? Tyler, it's locked to the tribe anyway, so yes. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff on it, and my tribe is all really good, and they know not to use resources, especially monetary resources, without asking. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with it. Um, Peyton says they need an otter statue in Ark. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like the one time I wish I had a face cam right now, because my jaw literally just dropped. They do! They need an otter statue in Ark, Peyton, and I am now going to go ask the devs for one. Thank you so much for your suggestion, Peyton. They need an otter statue. They also need a fairy statue, because how great would that be with the little jazz hands? Almost as good as the Carno statue with its little screamy hands. It looks like it's screeching. I don't know. It's so cute. Um, <laughs> uh, Lil Killer says, have you had it when your phone's at 1% and it gets really laggy? Lil Killer, when my phone gets to 1%, it just quits. It's like done. <laughs> Yes, on the statues, right? They'd be so good. Everything, I'm super glad that you were able to come into the, the live stream today. Like, it's been so awesome to have you guys all here. Uh, I keep thinking of decorating stuff. I'm just flipping around in my smithy, like, not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I just like talking to you guys. It's a good time. Yeah, 
I'm getting stuck on things, but we're good. Look at Buttercups. She's on the lookout. She's like, I got this. I got this. She's on the ground floor. All right. Yellow body, Anki baby. Oh, love it. Okay, let's see. Um, so we're definitely going to need, like, I, I kind of want to put a pool table down here, actually. <laughs> that would be really cool. Put, like, a fancy table down here, make it, like, a pool table. That'd be fun. They need places to play games. Um, they also need, like, a little breakfast nook. Maybe we'll do one up here, like, in front of the window. I'm also going to need to get some pots and maybe put some fancy trees in here. This is going to be the fanciest house that you ever did see. I love it. Let's center it a little. Um, Grizz, yes, Otter Game Room, right? That's kind of the idea. Like, it is a basement. It should definitely be a game room, right? Uh... <laughs> 100, you will probably beat me to a full tech base on Oasis. I, I've kind of like had to let that go since I've been playing on District for the streams, but I would love to get back to it and do that soon. That would be really fun. I love these elegant chairs. We're going to put one there. And then one like here. Like they're eating breakfast, looking out over their lake. It's beautiful. I, I wish there were different sizes of tables and, like, a round table. Because I would totally put a round table out on the patio. You know what I mean? Like, out on the balcony. That'd be so cute. I have all these ideas for cosmetics, guys. <laughs> um, do I have a favorite non-tameable creature? Maggie. <gasps> that is an excellent question. That's one not many people ask. Non-tameable. What's non-tameable? So, like, the ants, the Meganura... The jellyfish, um, trilobites, europterids. Hmm. You know, I think if I had to choose one of those, it would probably be the Nidaria because they're both useful and beautiful. They're, like, really pretty because of the way they glow. And jellyfish are actually just super cool in general. Like, if you ever want to have, like, lose, like, an hour of your life, just go read about jellyfish biology. They're so interesting. Um, Victor says smash that like button. Thank you guys. Yeah, remember, if we get to 300 likes, I will sing for you again. They already made me sing once. Hmm? Banana! The little terrifying trike bone helmet. This thing murdered a trike for that, you can tell. Oh, the other kid with the bumped up kicks. I remember that. Is that the, is that the light, is that the rap god song? What's that song? I don't know this song. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, should you get a chef station or a tannery? Luke, I find the chef station to be far more useful for taming. Um, the tannery can be useful, but it's not too hard to level up uh, to get saddles or trade with a, a player who can make those saddles So, or who's just willing to make it for you if you bring the mats. So I do think that it's probably a better idea to go with the chef station because that is going to do you a lot of good in the long run um what else do we need guys i don't even know what to put in this little hut here like we have the table i don't have a whole lot of amber right now i definitely need to put oil lamps in there for lighting that's gonna be a thing all right guys let's go ahead and take a look at some of the decor the wall sconces i need to get the wall sconces um, probably some of those stone pots. I need to get so much amber on here. It's going to be a thing. Uh, a few more rugs, which we could actually run dungeons for, technically speaking. We could definitely put, like, an armor stand in the corner of the basement, make it look like a knight. Yeah. Those old school, like, knight statues. Love it. Um, <laughs> do I think Ark is pay to win? I like to play No. I don't. Um, Ark is definitely free to play, and I think it's free to win as well. It might be a little harder on PvP servers when people are using items to like get a lot of breeding done a little bit more quickly and stuff like that, but 
overall, the game, you can play it without spending a dime, and I often do. And there are plenty of ways to get Amber from in-game sources if you play regularly. Uh, doing the daily pursuits is a really good way to get a lot of Amber quickly. Um, obviously, watching ads can stack up pretty quickly as well. And then you get potent dust just from running caves. Like, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, just with all that. Ooh, a dire bear rug in the basement would be cool. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this, to be honest, guys. I love putting all of these cosmetics in here. Um, I want to learn the pots. Yeah, I think I need to learn the pots so that we can get some really nice plants growing in there. We need some color in it. Okay. See, I did it again. I just did the do-do-do without even thinking about it. Uh... <laughs> Peyton says you should be able to breed otters for size like dodos and be able to ride the big ones. Peyton, that would be amazing, but also terrifying. <laughs> have I defeated a boss on PC? And if so, how and which boss? Maggie, yes, I have defeated most of the bosses. I think the only ones I haven't defeated is Extinction and Genesis at this point, and that's because I've been slow since I started YouTube and started playing Arc Mobile. It's been a little bit crazy. Um... I don't really know what all I can even decorate right now. I think I just need to spend all week gathering amber, and then we can do some interior decorating next week, guys, because, unfortunately, those are a lot of amber items that I'm going to need to actually do the builds in inside. Because I want to use the cool-looking stuff, like the elegant table that looks a little bit better than the regular table, the chairs that look a little bit better than the regular chairs, etc. Um... Yeah, I might just hold off on uh, doing some of the rest of this decorating. But Pablo officially has a house. Where did Pablo go? What? Nope. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, um, where are you guys from? You distributed the artifact and you got amber. Yeah, you can get it from tributing artifacts as well, man. That's a way to do it. And you can find them around the island. So there's lots of amber sources. Look, Pablo's already looking out the window. He loves this new house. Nope, wrong. Extra wrong. There we go. Hold on. Actually, this might be... Look at how much he loves it, guys. Look at him looking out the window over his domain. He's like, this is the best view. Maggie May, you can revive creatures as many times as you need to, as long as you have the ember. Um, Pablo's so much happier now that he has a house. I'm happier for him. All right, guys, so now the goal. Now the goal is to... Keep an eye out for Pablo's baby, who should be born in a little bit here. How much longer do we have? Only 12 minutes. Okay. 12 minutes, we're going to have a Pablo baby uh, who's going to hang out. Actually, let's get Harriet in there, too. The baby needs to be born in the fancy palace. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Doesn't count? <laughs> hey, it's Lime. How's it going? There we go. She's like ready to go out the door. She's like, I am so ready. She's being good though. She's staying at home. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And let's go grab. What do I need to grab? Um, Karan says, hi, this is my first stream. Welcome, Karan. How's it going? Uh, little killer. My favorite eerie dino Probably the Equus, because they're beautiful. I do like the Argies quite a lot as well. They just look really good in Eerie. The Megaloceros is also pretty cute. There's a lot of really good ones, but those are probably my top three. If I ever wasted a Soothing Bomb on a creature, all the time, Maggie. <laughs> if they get killed uh, when I after I give them the Soothing Bomb, then you have to give them another Soothing Bomb. when you're. It's really a pain, I think. At least that's happened to me in the past. It might be a bug if that's the case. I actually am not sure. Pablo's almost a father. This is very true. Buttercups has such a cute little Easter hat. Look at her. Oh, adorable. So cute. 
cute. So cute. I need to get all the hats for the otters as well. It's going to be a thing. We also have Jerboas on here. I need to make a separate Jerboa house. Um, Jenna says, hello, this is my first stream. Welcome, Jenna. How's it going? SC says, wow, cute, right? And isn't it adorable? I love them. Uh, okay. Hard to, like, keep track of everything. Let's go ahead and grab some of the meat from Harriet here, the fish meat that we've got, because I do want to go and look for another otter, just in case we find one, uh, it would be good to have it on us. All right. So if I could find a high level otter, that would do a world of good for my otter house palace collection. I think we're going to get some cool otters. I'm thinking a bright red otter guys. I'm going to breed until I get a bright red otter. All right, uh, let's check this area. Always a good area. Um, <laughs> new Harry Potter house, Otter. Yes, exactly. The house of Otter. This is a level five Spino, it must die. Um, Rosalia says, hey, Gwena, what did I miss? Uh... <laughs> We've basically built the entire structure for Pablo's house, which is our little otter. We've built him his own little house. Um, he is going to be a daddy in about 10 minutes, so we're going to have a baby otter. And I'm currently out looking for more otters to add to his friend group because you got to have a party of otters or it just isn't a thing, right? Like, you need a whole party. All right, so I'm currently looking for otters right now. It's a little hard to see when it's raining and dark. And the water's murky. Uh, I might check out... I might check out the redwoods. That's always a pretty good area to find them. I should get a green mutated otter and then put the clown mask on it and then name it Joker. <laughs> I should! And then we should get a fully black otter and name it Batman. Yes. Um... Deep, how's it going? I'm so sorry. I have been having a hard time reading the chat today. I've been super distracted. Like, between the game and then the chats that I actually do catch, like, I've had a really hard time keeping up with everybody today. Chat's been moving pretty fast as well. That says, what should I level up with my level 40 griffin? Uh, stamina? I like to have at least 1,500 stamina. Um, preferably up to 2k. And then after that, you want to level uh, speed. And then after that, melee. Those are pretty much the only things that really matter. Griffins are traveling mounts. So um, stamina and speed are going to be your best friends for sure. Um, it's so hard to see in the rain. I can't see very well under the water when it's raining. I don't know if you guys can see any better than I can. Eh. Um, Matthew says my otter's dead. Matthew, did it starve to death? One of my otters got completely murdered by piranhas, but that was on PC. I was quite upset. First thing I tamed on the Cross Arc series immediately got yeeted by piranhas. It was great. Gonna need fish in seven minutes. All right. I may have to go get some fish meat then. I was looking for an otter, but I will take fish meat. Oh, please don't hit a dimorph. Please don't hit a dimorph. I think I accidentally hit the... Yep, I hit the Paraceratherium. Good stuff. And I can't be landed. Stam! Alright, we gotta get some stam back. And then I need to leave. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, Hassan says, Hi, Gwen, I'm your big fan. Welcome, Hassan. Thank you so much for being a fan, man. How's it going? Sito says, Iguana, is the griffin your favorite tame? Sito, yes, probably. I 100% love 
Love, love, love griffins. Uh, they are definitely one of my favorite dames of all time. Um, especially on mobile, guys. Griffins are, on PC, griffins are actually kind of buggy. And they're a little bit difficult to use. But on, um, on mobile, they're really, really good. Like, the, the bugs have been worked out. They're really smooth. They're really easy to use. Their AI is a little bit more consistent. Like, I love the what happened to the griffins on mobile. And you can breed them, so that's like a big plus. And it's not something everybody thinks of, but uh, the breeding is a big deal. What's my most beautiful dinosaur? Ah! At the moment? What is hitting me, even? It, feels, it sounds like a terror bird. Yes, it is. Hi, terror bird. Um, there's multiples. Okay. My griffin doesn't do enough damage for this. It's too low level. My prettiest tame, probably either uh, my Anki, which is like this beautiful ice blue raspberry. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Or I would have to say the Giga that I have, Poseidon, because he's like blue and black and he's he's also good looking. Um, I'm hoping to get some really good... <gasps> hey, look, an otter! It's a level 15 female. <laughs> Maybe we'll tame her. We might come back and tame her. Um, I need to kill some fishies, though. Hey, uh, come here, salmon. No? Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's kill another one. They're just gonna sit there and let me. Droop. I'm gonna kill this one with my pick. Because I'm horrible. I don't know where the body went, though. I think I yeeted it. Hi, Otter. Otter's chillin'. There it is. All right. Oh, it's only level 15. It's so teeny. Teeny tiny. Um, I'm going to say, so when is the face reveal happening? It's happening at the end of April. Uh, that says, how did you level up your griffin? Did you use potent dust or kill dinos? I kill dinos, Thud. I almost never use potent dust to level. Uh, my griffin is upset with me. Inerna, please. Inerna, please. Please. What are you mad at? Oh, it's mad at the Meganura. I see. The Meganura is mad at me. Inerna, stop! No, no, stop. I got it. I promise. The Magnar are not that tough. Look. Look, I got him. There, come here. Cute. Really? Anerna, please. Please stop! He just doesn't want to stop. He refuses. There. Land, please. Ugh, finally. That was a pain. Pain. Uh, Sito, I do have an eerie griffin. Uh, I have an eerie griffin named Pevatrel on my single player series. I love her very much. Uh, she was a max level griffin as well, so extra gorgeous. Um, two minutes on the baby otter. Perfect, Zek. I got a little bit of fish meat. Doo, doo, doo. Let's get it back over here. I did it again, didn't I? Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna, my own ticks are gonna bother me now, guys. Uh, pay, my day's been really good, actually. Like, shockingly good. Um. Alright, let's go ahead and wander over here, and then hop off. I think I grabbed all the fish meat myself. Yeah, you just have the regular meat. There you go. Have this, have this. Alright, let's wander over this way. And let's take a look at the baby otter. So excited. Doop, doop, doop. All right. One minute to go. All right. I'm going to pick her up. 
because honestly, it's a lot easier to catch a baby otter <laughs> when the mom's not standing on top of it. Um, Virus says, will you tame a titan? Virus, I do have an episode where I've tamed a titan already. Uh, on this server, probably at some point we will tame a titan. That would be kind of fun. Uh, just as like a team activity. Uh, Fatwag says, Gwana, you're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, Fat. I really appreciate that. Uh, Jordan, how's it going, man? Welcome. <laughs> I say, I don't give away my coordinates. Um, yeah, I can't give away coordinates on the base. That's, uh, it is a PvP map. You guys can probably figure out where we are anyway, but I make a habit of not showing my map when I'm, um, on a PvP-based server where I have tribe mates and such. Um, Brian, no, this, this stream's not ending. I'm waiting for the baby to pop out. Sorry, I'm using my orbital camera. There it is. Uh, so that I don't miss it. Look, we have a baby otter! Because they can starve really, really fast. Like, unbelievably fast. There we go. Oh, look at a baby otter! Okay, guys, we need a name for Pablo's, uh, son. Pablo has had a son. What is his name? <laughs> Everything says, can you make a Moses series? Um, we, I don't know what a Moses series is. I can make, I don't know if you guys would be interested in hearing, uh, Lasto, like seeing a series on Last Oasis, which is a new survival game out. Um, it looks pretty fun, and I would like to try that one. I actually did get it, and it, I've tried, like, a few minutes of it. It would be good. Pablo Jr., Ollie, Diablo, Danny. I kind of like Danny. And, uh, Danny's actually the name of a, a friend of mine, so... I might go with Danny, guys. I almost never name things after people I know, but that's a good suggestion. Um, little Timmy, cute otter, Pablo, Slopan... Manuel. Manuel's pretty good. I do like Danny. I just do. I just do. Um, we're gonna name him Danny, guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and name this guy, and then we'll give him a little bit more fish meat. It's Danny the Otter. Look how cute he is. No. Okay, more fish meat. Stay alive. I must watch this otter like a hawk. They do like to get themselves starved. Um... <laughs> name it munchkin uh munchkin would actually have been pretty cute too oh my goodness uh guys please be kind in the chat if you would um luke says he should i use normal trank arrows or toxicant arrows uh luke uh toxicant arrows uh are pretty good. I'd say toxicant arrows are a little bit better um, than trank arrows. They they have kind of the same torpor level as trank darts, um, and then you can actually fire them a little bit quicker. So I think toxicant arrows are actually my preferred taming method. Um, whenever I'm on mobile, because they are like the most efficient. Everything top five says, I meant modded series. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, everything. My series are technically modded, uh, when they are on PC because I do have mods like S plus on there. Um, however, there are of course other mods that I could play. I'm not opposed to doing series like those eventually, but currently I'm pretty caught up with the cross arc series. Um, Eventually, if we end another mobile series, uh, we might be able to switch into having two separate PC series, but I don't want to have too many series going at once either because that can cause its own set of issues, you know? All right, let's uh, disable the wandering on baby Danny here. No! I'm so sorry! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I gave him a bloody nose. <laughs> okay, it's good. It's good. It's done. I'm so sorry. Have some fish meat. I didn't mean to. <gasps> um. 
Maggie, I I know of Toast the Carno. Uh, that's a gaming beaver thing. I I the toast thing on my channel is entirely separate. Um, a, an entirely separate meme because iguanas just love toast in general. But uh, yeah, I do know of the Toast the Carno thing on on Gaming Beaver's channel, and it's pretty great. 1.7% grown. Uh, everyone's screaming at me. I'm so sorry I punched him. I didn't mean to. Uh, bye, Luke. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I do appreciate you being here. <laughs> I didn't mean to, guys. I'm giving him food now. I feel bad. It was just a bloody nose. He's okay. I didn't kill him. He's good. Uh, oh my gosh, that was terrible. Okay, I think we might go tame that other otter, guys. It's, uh... It was only a level 15, but always good to have a few extra, right? Um, go Catra says, hurry everyone, like the video so Iguana will sing at the end. <laughs> Zeth says, Wild One, I didn't know you were Violet. Zeth, you clearly haven't watched enough of my streams. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> definitely, anytime you're on Ark, it gets pretty violent. <laughs> it's a violent game. Alright, he's got seven fish meat. Let's go see... That's a pretty RG. I got distracted. Um, now I have to spoil it with the fish. Yes, I will definitely spoil it with the fish. Alright, let's see if I have myself, uh, soothing bombs. I should have soothing bombs somewhere. You want a face reveal in-game face. Exactly, Zach. You know what's up. I have an eerie candy in there. I actually have three major soothing bombs. When did that happen? I'm not going to use a major soothing bomb on a level 15 otter. I'm just not. I can't. I can't make myself do it. If I find a higher level otter, we'll take this just in case. I'm going to check on Danny before we go as well. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. Uh, just need to make sure Danny's got fish meat. He's so little. And they can't carry, like, anything. I really do not want him to starve to death. They eat relatively quickly. Hopefully they've got enough stuff to make that a thing. Mm. Uh, make him fish kebabs. Ah, that's a good idea. We should make him fish kebabs. I wish you could cook cool like recipes like that in Ark. It would be good. Uh, nom noms for Danny. Exactly, Matthew. All right, let's go find the other otter babies. Um, everything top five says I wanted to donate because you're a great YouTuber, but I don't have any money. Everything, no worries, man. I really appreciate you being here today. And uh, if people can't donate, like really hitting the like button and hanging out, being active in the streams, like it really, really does help me out, guys. Like I don't even think I can tell you enough how helpful it is to have people just be here and be present and be supportive of the streams. Uh, means a lot to me and definitely does help the channel out as well. Downside of Griffins is that air effect they do on the water. Easiest way to spot otters is literally to get in the water. Good luck, bugs. I'm swimming now. Uh... <laughs> Name the new otter Nutella. Oh, that's a cute name for an otter as well. I like it. Oh, hi, fishy. Become food. These are now food for otters. I have decided. Food for Danny. All right, we're going to feed him. It's going to be great. All right, where's that other little level 15 otter? I do want it. Come here. Is it still alive is the question. 
It was in kind of a weird area. We're getting too close to the bog. Where was it? Where was it? It was over by this Pariser. Do I hear him? I see a Dillo. I hear it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Where is it? So hard to see. I heard the otter. I did. There. There? There? No, is that a fish? I think that's a fish. Where's the otter friend? I'm upset. I can hear it. I can hear it. Um, name an otter Michelle Wolf. Ooh, yes, I like that idea. Uh, Fortnite says, thank you for running the dungeon on your last stream, my grandson, and I loved it. Fortnite, uh, I'm really glad you, uh, enjoyed it because, honestly, that was such a rough, rough stream to die that many times in a row. I, I've only ever been killed on stream by bosses, I think, once. I think once, uh... And it was because the dodo boss does an insta-kill. So I'm actually, like, to die 20 times in a row to that boss was kind of crazy. Uh, but I'm really glad you enjoyed it. And I hope it was helpful to people who were thinking about doing the dungeon. Uh, either that they knew what to expect or that they thought twice <laughs> before running it. Major, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. There, where did this otter go? I could hear it. I know it's still here. It's in the area. It's chilling. He's teasing me. I have to go check on Danny soon. I hear it. 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 Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. Little otter friend, where be you? There's lots of saber tooth salmons around. Okay, I'm gonna come up here for a second. <gasps> um, Peyton said, if you get a red otter, name it Danny Snows. <laughs> Hey, Fags, that's a, that's a good suggestion. I might do that. Thank you, Peyton. Um, the server is full. Yes, Tender, please. Uh, the server does tend to get full when I'm streaming. It should empty up pretty soon once I get off. Just as kind of a, an FYI. Man, the one time I go to look for the otter, it was just swimming right in front of me before. What, did I, like, hop in the water and it was right there and now it's, like, nowhere to be found? This is real frustrating. I don't know where it went. It's just gone. Otter has left the house. Has decided they don't want to be friends with me, I guess. And I gotta check on that baby. I cannot let, I cannot let Danny starve. So, um, ugh. get a good look up here. I hear it. I definitely hear it. I'm losing my mind, guys. I know it's here. <laughs> I have such a hard time finding these things. My goodness. Someday, I will return for you, little level 15 otter. We will be friends. Uh, where did I leave my griffin? Uh-oh. Um, it's on the land. I don't see it on the land, guys. They're not that small, like. I hear it still. It's somewhere in the area. I just don't know exactly where. They are quite small, but they're they're definitely not so small that you wouldn't see one, you know what I mean? So, uh, they're usually pretty easy to spot on land and also pretty easy to tame when they're on land. There's a beaver friend. No, nope, not seeing any more otters. That's a bit sad. We saw it behind you. Oh! You guys saw it? Alright, we're gonna fly over there. The ants are back, but it's fine. 
right here. You saw the otter. No, there's a Dillo. There's a Chally. <gasps> otter! Otter, otter, otter! I see it! Stay! Stay, be my friend! Hi! Okay. Okay. We're doing this. Otters take too long to tame without bombs. We must. Uh, please stay on land, because that would be super useful. This would be a great time to not be in the store page. Literally just bought an item. You could give me a break. Uh, okay. There we go. Soothing bomb. Fish meat. Come on. State. State, state. Yay! Okay. We got it. We got it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I was, I was very, very not paying attention, because I did not see it. Uh... Very glad it's here now, though. Please go back up on land. You're very hard to spot under the green stuff. <laughs> um, this guy's gonna be. She's gonna be hard to keep track of. She's a little squirrely. It's all right. She'll have the free roam of the game room. Do, 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 do. All right. Come on. Get hungry so that I can feed you more fishies. Because we need to be friends. Hopefully someone is taking care of Danny. Um, <laughs> that is the real true struggle here. Uh, name the otter uh, Senora. Uh, that's actually a cool name. Call her basically Lady. Hi. Hey. Hi. You want some fish meat? Have some. Thank you. Alright, we're getting there. Okay. Yeah, even with a 3x bomb on a level 15, like, taming still takes forever on otters. That's quite sad. I'm really glad we do have bombs, because I would not want to do this without bombs. Oh. Air. Air's kind of a thing. You should go back up on land, because that would make my life really easy, little otter friend. Um... <laughs> Yen, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying today. Really? How did that not... No, I don't want to eat it. I want to feed it to you. Why? There we go. I didn't want to eat it. I don't understand. Why is there a salmon on the shore? Cool. Hey, wait. Prime fish meat. Heck yeah. Yeah. We're feeding that to the otter. It's going to like it even more. Hey, come back. You're hungry. Yes! Beautiful. Prime fish meat's the way to go. Can I... There we go. Alright, guys. We got her. She's our friend now. If you guys have a name suggestion for this little trickster otter here, I would absolutely love... Love, love, love to have a good name for her. Uh, Sandy. I do like Sandy. Um, <laughs> like the video for good luck. Thank you so much, Cleo. You guys just want to hear me sing again. Uh, sing again. Uh, can I please tame an equus? Uh, Emily, um, yeah, we actually have a couple of tamed equus. If I could find a good one, I would happily tame another one. Uh, they're not the easiest things in the world to find. Who's, who dat? Hi there. It's a 145. This is a really high level. Hey, come here. I want to murder you real quick. Just just real quick. Come back. You're far away from the mountain. I'm not going to be able to murder this very quickly. I'm going to run out of stam. There's a tap way up there by the world ceiling as well. It's terrible. All right. Uh, almost got it here. Uh, 
All right. Well, I'm going to have to, like, come down here anyway. Maybe she'll chase me. Get shot by turrets, hopefully. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. And... Stam. Perfect. In the base. That's where I wanted to be. Uh, name the buddy otter. I got a gaming too. I like that. Ariel Madison. Pickaxe just says, watch your stream. I'm watching the stream. Name is Cecilia. 30 to go for an Iggy song. Oh my goodness. You guys are getting it so close there. Um, Tender says, why do you put 20 as the limit on the server? Tender, uh, the, the limit is there because of how many people are generally on, um, during the week. And then because if you have a server that has 20 or fewer slots, you actually do get some bonus uh, tame slots for that. So everybody on this server gets 10 extra tame slots, basically double what you would normally get. Um, yeah, so normal people will get 20, 20 tame slots per person, and then people with Primal Pass will get 50 tame slots, not 50, 30 tame slots per person. Uh, so it's a really, really good thing to do to have your servers only have 20 slots or less. Um, I did put it at 20 because I knew people would want to be on, but I did also want to make sure that the, oh good, they've been feeding them. My tribe is rock stars. Um, <laughs> but I did also want to make it so that people could get the most, uh, from taming and all of that and would have a lot of room on the server, even if I wasn't playing, because the server really only fills up when I'm streaming, you know, and that's not fair to the people who play it regularly. Uh, Danny's cute, isn't he, Emily? I love him. Danny's adorable. Look at baby Danny. Look at this little guy. Look at him. Um, okay, so we now have our new otter friend. They're gonna chill in the gaming basement because they're, like, too cool for the crowd. There we go. Alright, so she needs a name as well. I'm actually gonna give her some fish meat just in case she gets hungry. Never hurts. She's pretty cute, guys. Uh, I do like Sandy quite a lot. <laughs> Um, Izzy's a good name. Uh, we need Chibis on mobile, pure selfie. That would actually be great, but that's a lot of game info. I don't know if we need them that bad. Uh, Peyton says name something Aztec. Aztec is good. <laughs> Cecilia. I do like Cecilia. Oh, Cecilia. You're breaking my heart. That's a good song. I haven't heard that one in forever. Okay, there we go. Let's see where Cecilia. Yeah! Cecilia the Otter. She's just as sassy as all the CCs I know. It's great. Um, hey, Bacon, how's it going? Eh, I can do a wave. I can do a wave. There we go. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Pump Tough Kick Otter, right? <laughs> um... That's what you named your dad's truck. <laughs> That's right, Banana, you did. That's true. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and do this. More fish meat for Danny. He's always so hungry. Someone has a gift. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? I'm surprised a level 2 made it in here. Actually, impressive. Alright. Let's go ahead and step outside for anybody who has a gift. Give him a little bit of space to operate. There we go. File out, guys. Perfect. Um, <laughs> let's see. Iggy, are you ever going to play COD Mobile? If so, can I help you rank level up? Uh, Kid River, and so... Uh, yeah, I do actually have plans to play a little bit of COD Mobile. The thing is, is that it's not, like, my main game, so I probably will never be excellent at it. But um, I do like playing it, and I probably will play it uh, on occasion. Ooh, that eerie candy is going to be super helpful. Um, so I probably will play it on occasion, uh, but it might not be a ton on stream, you know? Um, <sighs> Mika, Mika would have been good too. Have I heard Schwab's real voice? Uh, Peyton, no, I have not. Still don't know what gender they are. Um, <sighs> I was saying yay, there you go. Uh, Apex, yes. Uh, we do need another patron voice chat very soon. This is true. 
Give it to Danny. Do not eat it. It's evil. I, I am well aware, guys. I don't want to change my character's looks or lay a dodo egg or anything. Like... I'm good on all that, so definitely going to save the candy for one of the critters who actually, you know, doesn't get creeped out by it. Um, uh, 16 more lights till next song. Oh, goodness, guys. You build an otter army? That's pretty much what I'm doing, actually, Cleo. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Thud, welcome back. What did you miss? Not too much. Um... Guys, please don't emoji spam. Amy says, first stream I could make. Amy, I'm really glad you were able to make it. How's your day going? Uh, Iman says, in which server are you playing? It's called Toast District. Um, it is a, an unofficial server that I host. And it is free to access. You can just uh, join it. Wow. Right outside the door. I see. There we go. I was going to check on the other babies as well. Because the raptors have got to be pretty close to grown. I'm trying to keep an eye on all of the babies, guys. It's very important that the babies do not die. Um, striker, see, striker, striker, striker. I always forget, there are two of you. Um, I think it's striker plays and striker siege. Uh, what people are disliking, it makes you sad. I don't know, man, but that's okay. Disliking just means that you don't enjoy the video, so it won't pop up for you as much in the future. Um, it doesn't mean that, uh, the video's bad, it just means that somebody didn't enjoy it, you know, and that's kind of, uh, that's kind of how I like to look at those types of things, and it still helps the channel out, because any sort of engagement point, like or dislike, does help to promote the channel. Uh, so that particular person will see less of it, but other people will see it more often. Um... Let's see, give the eerie candy to Danny, uh, it makes a full imprint. I could, or I could give it to one of these guys who's going to need a full imprint as well. Um, Michelle says, hello, Gwen, I've been a long time since I watched your streams. Michelle, it has been. How have you been doing? I'm super glad to have you back. <laughs> uh, Josh Boy says, your phone ain't dead. My phone ain't dead. No, my phone is not dead. Uh, Little Killer says, Gwana, can you tell me a joke? What do you call a cow with a twitch? Beef jerky. <laughs> it's the worst joke in the world, but I love it. Uh, <laughs> Tonto, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. It's on. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Croc. Yeah, I'm glad you have been helping watch the babies. They're definitely doing pretty good. Uh, let's check on Therry Friend here. Juniper is doing beautifully. Juniper, I definitely want to get a full imprint on. This one's going to take a minute. Might need to get some more candy for this. Uh, Dad joke alert. Yeah, I'm bad that way. Um, Josh Boy, how's it going, man? Welcome. Asan says, Gwana, you're not listening. Asan, uh, what are you asking? Dab? Dab. Uh, Lime Deferred says, at least Iguana never gets demonetized. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually. I think I've had one video that ever got demonetized, and it was because I used the word explosion in the title, which is like an automatic demonetization. Um, but it was, it was for Subnautica, like when the Aurora explodes. So it got remonetized very quickly, um... Because I contested it, but like it's a it's a very it's a thing that they have to manually review. So there are some words that they just like will automatically trigger demonetization for. Uh, Autumn says you left an hour ago. You're sorry. Love your vids. You're so amazing. No worries, Autumn. Your Tyranodon are safe, and you're gonna tame a berry soon. Awesome, Autumn. I'm glad to hear it. I should name a female otter Donna. I do like that. Uh, Jose, I live on the west coast of the U.S. Alex, I do play Genesis. Uh, I play it a lot on, on my Twitch. Uh, Thud, I have an entire series of Subnautica. If you want to check that out, it is uh, there is a playlist on the channel. Emily says, I can't find any Equus in my world. Uh, Emily, 
If you're on single player, try doing a tidy save. If you're on a multiplayer, um, try killing dinos in their spawn areas. That's about the best thing you can do. Um, <laughs> Michelle, my day's been really good so far. Uh, Bewilder Beast, bye. Thank you so much for hanging out. I can see the burn. What? <laughs> um, do I like bacon? Yeah, bacon's delicious, actually. Very good stuff. Alright, check on Danny again. I trust nothing with these babies. Babies! Especially... Especially otter babies. They tend to starve so quickly. Croc is doing a really good job of keeping an eye on them. But I trust nothing. Just a little extra. Look at how cute little Danny is. He's growing up so quickly. Um, Hund, welcome back. How's it going? Robert, I do remember you, man. How's it going, Robert? <laughs> Matthew says YouTube when the title says explosion. No, exactly. Um, let's see. Emily says... <laughs> it won't work. The game hates me. I'm so sorry, Emily. Oh my goodness. Jade, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, you can have a shout out. How's it going, Jade? Big shout out to you. Thank you so much, Apex, for posting that link. Uh, Mir Patel, how's it going? Welcome. Karen says, what's your favorite animal on Ark? Uh, Karen, favorite animal on Ark would probably have to be the Iguanodon, and then the Griffin, and then the Carno, because Carnos are adorable. <laughs> RL still serves your RL place. Welcome, man. How's it going? I think I remember that name. <laughs> 13 left, guys. Let's see if you guys can get those likes up. I promised I would sing again if we got to 300 likes. I don't know if we'll make it there. Hopefully not. We have a few minutes left on stream. I think we're going to end here pretty quickly. So if we don't make those likes in the next, like, two minutes, it'll be done. Um... Bye, Toast. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. I appreciate you coming by. Oh, there we go. We hit 301 real fast. Um, oh, back down to 300. Someone hit the dislike. Nice. Good job, guys. <laughs> uh, and it switched to like again. I saw that. That was great. Uh, thank you guys so, so much. Uh, okay, guys. What song shall we sing? This is a good question. Uh, oh, that was the sub. Uh, Ian, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel. Holly, several got their second account. <laughs> Maybe they did, man, but I still appreciate those likes. They do help out so much. Um, let's see. Pump Jump Kicks, Believer. Oh my gosh. I don't know these songs. Sing Something I Love. <laughs> the, I only know the one line from the Pump Up Kicks song, though. I really do. RL, yes. Uh, Lost in Japan. I have been listening to it. I'm not comfortable enough with it to sing it yet. Uh, sing a meme song. Oh, Never Gonna Give You Up. I could do that one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The song, not. I'm sorry. I don't know that one. Old Town Road. Oh, that one's good. Fireflies. I did work really hard to learn that one, but it is difficult. What do you think, guys? Fireflies is pretty good. Cup song. Hunts as fireflies. <laughs> Country Road, Amazing Grace. Oh my goodness. You should start a vlog channel. Uh, Ramses, I actually might do some vlogging after we get the face reveal up. We'll see how it goes. It depends on time and uh, what sorts of things I end up doing day to day at that point. Wow. Lots of... Lots of... <laughs> Camera Bro, thank you so much for subbing. So many suggestions here. Oh my gosh. It looks like Old Town Road or Country Road. I, those are two different songs. Country Roads and Old Town Road are two different songs. Um, I know Country Roads pretty well. Piano Man. I do love Piano Man. It's a good song. Uh... <laughs> 
Fireflies. All right, guys. I guess we'll go with Fireflies. Um, I do like Fireflies quite a bit. I do actually know that one because I did recently learn it. So uh, that'll be something we can do. All right. I think I just leveled up on the game. <laughs> How many bombs do I have? Uh, Critex, only like three right now. Not very many. Um, all right. Checking on Juvenile Danny. He's doing good. All right, we'll give him all that. Okay, guys. Uh, Fireflies. That's a tough song, not gonna lie. Very difficult to sing. <laughs> Again, guys, if you don't like singing, you can plug your ears now. You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. Cause they fill the open air and leave teardrops everywhere. You'd think me rude, but I would just stand and stare. I'd like to make myself believe the planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to say I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Cause everything is never as it seems. Cause I'd get a thousand hugs from ten thousand lightning bugs as they tried to teach me how to dance. A foxtrot above my head, a sock hop beneath my bed, a disco ball is just hanging by a thread. I'd like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to say I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep, cause everything is never as it seems. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little clip of it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're going to go ahead and end this stream off there, guys. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for all the hearts and the love and the emotes and things. I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Uh, and thank you guys again for hitting the like button, guys. Uh, so we're going to end off the stream there. We did uh, quite a bit today. The House for Pablo's come along a long ways. Did get a couple more otters going, which is amazing. Uh, Danny's our adorable new baby. Pablo's son. First son. It's important. So yeah, guys. Uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this one, guys, please do remember to hit the like button on your way out. Really does help me out. And if you want to see more like this, guys, you can, of course, subscribe. I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.